Charlemagne the God. Andrew Shut Schultz. Up. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. And this yeah. week's episode of Brilliant Idiots is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Let's start the show. Has a Kyle Walker. Is it true what Taylor just said? <laughs> Taylor, is this is, why that Taylor has been trying to rile me up every single fucking episode because you said she's not allowed to show love to white men? Here's the thing about Taylor. <laughs> um, this is what I tell people all the time, shows. Yeah, it's better to be a wave than a surfer, right? I like surfing. It's better to be a wave, okay. than a surfer. Okay, surfers ride waves. You are a wave. Ooh, that's, I feel like I am a wave. That's fire, Taylor. <laughs> Surfer. So, what's yeah. the wave this weekend? Taylor Swift, that's, Travis Kelsey. That's fire, though. She's all no, over I that wave. I knew about Travis. So she's all, she, that. she's that's all fire. over that wave. Travis found out who the Can't, goat was. He recognized the goat. Now, the funny thing Travis is... Travis recognized the goat. You can't hate, can't hate on a man who's recognizing greatness. Unbeknownst to me... Yeah. Lauren LaRosa, uh, formerly at TMZ, you know, she's been guest hosting our Breakfast Club. She said all black women are upset about Travis Kelsey um, being with Taylor because Travis has historically dated black women. I don't know. I didn't know this. Travis has historically dated beautiful women that happen to be black. Pull up the page six. There's a great page six article. I want you to see this because I... Pull up the page. <laughs> pull up the page Wait, six why? of Travis Kelsey's dating history. Why? This is good shit. Just pull it up. Pull it up, Taylor. Pull it up, Taylor Gang. Now I'm not gonna lie. Lauren didn't say all black women. She said 87. She said 87 percent. She did. She did. I want to be See. fair. I want to be fair. She but said, she said 87 percent. All right. Boom. Taylor Swift and no, that's not it. Put up. Put up Travis Kelsey dating history. I saw it. It was. I saw it this so morning. So hold on. Let me get this straight. Black women are upset that they lost. A white man? No, we thought that crazy, right? That's wild. No, like what that's a compliment. Not what it is. That's not what it is. It's Get that we saw of- him dating yeah. a black woman. It's right like, there. oh shit, he's for us. So he's then still we- for y'all. <laughs> he's still for y'all. Taylor's for everybody. Right there. You have to understand. <laughs> yes, click on that. Like, okay. Travis- so Travis Kelsey's dating history. Meet the Chiefs, tight ends, girlfriends, and flings. Now I don't know who's what. Oh, let's scroll down the list. Scroll down the list. I forgot okay. he had another black. He, okay. Yo, he got my haircut, my right mustache. There, right there, scroll up. Yo, Who's he's that? trying to ride the Hezzy wave. Scroll. That's a fact. If you yeah, actually scroll really... Scroll down. I need to read the name right there. God. Where Taylor, you, give me the you, goddamn God. 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 No, what are you saying? She gave me epileptic seizures. You're saying scroll down instead of oh, saying scroll up. Okay, scroll up, Taylor. Come on. But slow, but go slow. No, scroll down. 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 <laughs> yeah, actually down. Honestly, yo, Taylor's acting like Malone White. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Malone white dick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how you get caught two minutes in? How you get caught two minutes in? That's what Travis said to Taylor. Yo, Me right. Malone white. You know what's so funny? Me Malone white. I faked laugh, and then I was like, why am I fake laughing? I don't know who the fuck Malone white Yo, is. give me that right now. <laughs> you know give me that right now so we can teach you. Hold on. What? Sure Even pointed. your microphone huh? don't want to hear what you guys say right now. What happened? <laughs> oh, mm. my God. Look at that. Okay, Maya Binberry. Scroll down. Mm. Maya Binberry. Mm. I thought he was trying to catch. <laughs> <laughs> she's black. All right. All right, keep going. She is keep on. Going down. But she's on. Don't matter. But I, was on his, he, I didn't know he had a, rea- he had a reality show called yeah. Chasing Kelsey in 2016. Oh, no, I didn't know that. All right. Um, okay, so that's something. She's black. Scroll down some more. Ooh. Woman right here, beautiful. Ooh. Woman. Ooh. Oh, That's Maya Benberry. God damn. Yeah. Keep scrolling, Taylor. Who is that? She met, he met her on his reality Keep show. Keep going. We oh, got. We, we saw black. her already. Okay. Boom. Kai and Nicole. Kyla and Nicole. Kayla Nicole. Kayla, Kayla Nicole. Come on. Taylor has Put a some respect woman crush on Kayla. I definitely. Shout out to Kayla. Five. Beautiful. Keep going. You know her though, Alex, right? Yeah. How did you know her? Ah, uh, they're Weezy. God. Weezy. Oh, that's Weezy people. Yeah. yeah. They been they dated for five years, so I guess this is the woman who gave all black women hope because yes. she had him dressing like a rapper. 
You know what I mean? Well, not more, not like a rapper, more so like somebody who's presenting at like the BET Hip Hop Awards, <laughs> not necessarily performing. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So she had him dressing like that. So oh, that shit. opened that opened him up to black women. Black women was black women love a white diesel man with a beard. You know what I'm saying? Now scroll down some more. Damn, yo, that sounds like some. That sounds like some hate right there. Right? Sounds like some jealousy, yo. It do sound come like on, some hate. Come on, let my man eat. Yeah, it do sound like a little hate right there. Let my man Travis eat, yo. Scroll down some more. This is where it gets good. This is where it got. I salute the kale in the no, cold. Woo! Oh shit! Woo! Oh uh, shit! Yeah. I did not know. <laughs> I did not know. Our Burning Man buddy. Uh, yeah. Our brilliant, brilliant, you can idiot. Say brilliant idiots alumni. Alumnus. Un uncommon sense alumni. Oh my god. Our good sister Zuri Hall. Who knew? Really? So she turned him back to white women? Let's read now, let's read. <laughs> Hold on, is Zuri turned him back to white women? Is that the last one? It says, a few months after Nicole and Kelsey called it quits for good, he sparked romance rumors with Access Hollywood correspondent Zuri Hall. In October 2022, Hall was spotted sitting in his family suite at a Chiefs game. Now let's stop there for a second. What? Oh, that's the move. Who else was sitting... That's the move, See what I'm bro. Who That's else class. Sit, who else was sitting in the family suite? Sit you next to mama. Let That's mama it. bet you out. That's his game. Yo, That's his riz. Travis, Travis. He's, He's rizzing him up. <laughs> That's the riz. <laughs> what the kids say? That's the riz. Rizzing him up. <laughs> He's rizzing her up. Bro. That's his move. Let me sit that you next to mommy in the suite. Come on so now. He's running it back. Oh, Zuri. How many women got that story? That seat warm, bro. That's what I'm saying, that seat yo. Warm, How many man. women got that story, man? How wow, many women Travis are sitting next to mama it, in the suite? Because I would think you ain't just sitting nobody next to mama in the no, suite. No, it got to be someone special. That are somebody you trying to make feel like they special. Oh, you think it's all game? Do you think that he's all, you think he's hustling Taylor? He's a football player. It's all about game. Mmm, that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Scared. Come on, man. Salute our good sister Zoe Hall. Zuri, I will be asking you about that when I see you. And then look, at the end, oh, no. one white woman, the, not just one white woman, because that is the white woman, yeah. the poster child for all white women at the mm -hmm. moment, Taylor Swift. So here's, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. What's Taylor's angle here? Because I have a... I have a little theory. Oh, let's go now. Mm -hmm. Now keep in mind, you're one of the Swifties' favorites. So this oh, that's 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 mother. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can't believe y'all do. Yeah, that's mother. Okay. <laughs> let's go. That's yeah. mother. Right. Oh, that's mother. Son, that's that's the brilliant. This is always about, the only baby. mother. No, that's mother. <laughs> nah, son, no. that's crazy. Okay. Um, <laughs> what is Taylor Swift has done literally almost everything you can do in music. She's only has one more thing to really accomplish. Have a baby? No, 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 no. See, that's a good breed. No, no, Six, no, five. no, no, no. Oh, no, they're going to have a gigantic kid. Yeah, there's yeah, no yeah, question. Yeah. But there's one more thing in music that she has not done yet, and it's quite difficult for her to do because her fan base is so different, but it is the highest of the high mountaintops in music. Only the greatest of the greats get to do this event. The BT Awards? The BT Awards. <laughs> The BET Awards, and Taylor, <laughs> Taylor has yet to do the BET Awards, so she figured the best person, the best person to get her into the BET Awards is the dude who's been knocking down all the women that are at the BET Awards. I'm just saying. I see the he logic. Be, he been giving them the Malone White. I see the logic. Yo, I didn't know the logic. He been giving them the Malone White. I didn't believe that until this morning, seeing Taylor lust over Travis Kelsey, mm. seeing Lauren LaRosa lust mm. over Travis Kelsey. Not Mm. What do you mean, not anymore? Travis got a fucking crazy ass mustache, and he looked like he for the whites now, for real. He don't oh, he's he with just Taylor? Looks like me. He just looks like me. Yes, What's yes. wrong with that? Because <laughs> he's with Taylor Swift. He's for <laughs> the whites. <laughs> no, I, I've the been beard? telling you. You think I'm for the whites? <laughs> 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 I'm not against them. I'm not against the whites. I'm not that they, way. I'm they, not against them. This man I'm for everybody, whites included. All lives matter. So. Taylor, all lives matter. This man has a whole history of sisters in supreme outfits. Yes. And now all of a sudden. He changed his look. That's though. Zuri you didn't did that. that. Zuri did that, yo. We got to <laughs> listen. Listen, Zuri did that, bro. Zuri might have done did that. Salute to Zuri. Zuri did that. You think so? Bro, we spent one week. I didn't week. know Zuri was on this list. I was just reading page six. I didn't know And Alex, lo and behold, I'm like, Alex and I Zuri? spent one week in a Winnebago and Burning Man with Zuri, and we both immediately married white women. 
<laughs> this guy is crazy. This guy oh, is crazy. I'm just saying. I didn't, think, I didn't think it was related, <laughs> but now, now I'm starting to think it might be related. Al, no, no. Al, it might be related. No, I'm not a Spanish woman. This Zuri turned into the mayonnaise. Uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Jesus turned water to wine. Zuri turned water to mayonnaise. That's a fact. She now turned you're... Nutella to mayonnaise. <laughs> Mine's Nutella, more... Nutella to mayonnaise is crazy. Mine's is more like a aioli. A, a yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mine's, <laughs> Mine's a little, little different. Yeah. But here's the thing. I think Taylor wants the Super Bowl. I think she wants to do Super Bowl halftime show. It is. She got about two years to wait. She might have two years to wait. That being said... Right now, her fan base is so removed from the Super Bowl, but if she dates one of the most successful NFL athletes in history, you could argue the greatest tight end career of the position, all of a sudden, her fan base, fan base becomes ingratiated with the NFL. The NFL players start to recognize her. The, 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 the fans start to recognize her and her greatness, obviously the greatest alive. So... <laughs> She ends up doing the halftime show. I think it is completely possible. You know, I'm not, I, I believe that theory because there are women over the past couple of days, mm. I'm not even going to lie, mm. who have pissed me off real bad. Oh, why? What happened? Because they have said things to me. Man, <laughs> the, the football is about to be popping. Yeah. I'm like, football is about to be popping. I'm like, do I take this bait? Maybe she's talking about soccer. No, 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 no. I'm no. like, maybe she's talking about soccer. So no, I'm like, lady what do you mean football is about to be popping? They're like, like the NFL, like, like everybody's talking about the NFL. I'm like, yeah, it's like like they do every year. Like it's the NFL fucking L. Like it's the biggest thing in America. Like, yeah. and she was like, no, because Taylor Swift was at the game, and Taylor's bringing so much attention to the sport. She is though. I wanted to throw my fucking phone Why? across the they're room. They're right. I mean, she, she ain't no. lying. Yo, they're right. She. <laughs> 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 you not doing it. You not doing it today. You not doing it. He not, he not doing it. We do the thing he does every day. I, I know. And now he not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, she's bringing 60% of the population to football. Football is a very small sport when you think about it. It's just the men watch it. But now that the men and women watch it because of the GOAT, I think the sport is really going to take off. Mad women watch football and mad Mad daughters, mad fathers of daughters who like Taylor fathers, definitely watch fathers football. Fathers of daughters who like Taylor watch football. That's Absolutely. a fact. That's Absolutely. That's a fact. But them daughters weren't watching until Taylor started watching. They're like, they, oh, it's popping now. They're not watching it now. Taylor's going to do for the Chiefs what Dion's doing to the, Col doing to the Colorado Buffaloes. How yes. everybody likes the Buffaloes. Yes. The Chiefs are going to be so many people's team now. 100%. Just because Taylor is at the game. 100%. You know? They're going to have to change the name now. The difference is <laughs> Dion made a commitment to Colorado. Look how cool they look. Taylor has not made a commitment to the Chiefs yet. Look how cool they look together. Look how swaggy they look now, together. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Taylor has a, a, a reputation for, like, dating a lot of different guys, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch your mouth when you're talking about the God. Pull up Taylor Swift dating history. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you talking about the God right now. Yeah. He has a lot of... Pull up Taylor She's Swift dating nah, if you, men. If you do that, we'll be scrolling for days, bro. Yo, 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 yo. By the way, yo, by the way his fit... gotta watch your mouth talking about a woman like that. By the way, there's nothing the wrong with Travis' fit right there. That's still very, like, Fez from Euphoria. God bless you. Nah, nah, that's, the fit is fire. The fit is Kid Super. The, the fit, fit is Kid Super. It's absolutely fire. And let me tell you something they did that was genius. But so that mustache got to go. Hold on, hold on second guys a, a man is talking oh, hold on. so so the the fit right there shout out to our boy calm and a kid super has a woman shout on out it to your boy who comes no call him <laughs> yeah what the fuck did you say <laughs> what? come over here and <laughs> suck on me <laughs> <this. laughs> so, you know how nice i am his real name is calm and I still flipped it. That's how nice I am. I thought you said come. I thought you said I know what you thought. Pull up Taylor Swift dating history. While you do that, the jacket he's wearing has a woman on it. And it was called like, it's called like Summer Woman. They changed the jacket title on their website to uh to Summer of 99 or some Taylor Swift song, so it started wow. to get all the Google hits. Wow. wow. It was fucking genius. Did he sell out? I'm sure. Of course, bro. Nah, no, they be killing that shit. Anyway, sorry, go on. Pull up Travis, I'm not Travis, Taylor Swift dating history. Taylor. I can tell you the dating history right now, right off the top of my head if you guys want. That's where it starts? Joe Jonas. Joe Jonas, John Mayer, okay. Travis Kelsey. Lucas Till. Lucas Till. Taylor, Taylor Lautner. Lautner. Come on, that's Werewolf. You know? Corey Monteith. Monteith. So we already have four. Her history is already longer than Travis Kelsey, right? Yeah, but you don't think Travis was just knocking him down as well? Like, we just... 
Taylor has to date a guy. Travis is obviously knocking him down. No, no. Now you put him in his family suite yep. next to his mom. Yeah. You only afford him. The rest, he was just knocking him down. Keep going, Taylor. John Mayer. John Mayer. Okay. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gilly. Um, Connor Kennedy. Connor. Uh, uh, Harry Styles, Jesus, when does this end? Yo, 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 yo. I know, I know, my son. God, it's not crazy. Yo. My a girl God. can't go on a date. No, it's not a girl on a date. 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 You, I'm not, you I'm don't not, know if they dropped the bottom out of it. That's what I'm saying. I'm not one of these people who assume just because you dated a person you had sex with them. So I'm yeah. just, I'm not judging on that. Yo, you saw the picture they was posting of uh, keep of going, Taylor. Of, of her knees looking black and blue. No, <laughs> what? Yo, they got a picture of her at the game and her knee has like a little black and blue on it. And people on Twitter was like, okay, Travis putting her to work already. Well, you oh, see, you, no, hold on, not, you saw what Travis not, said on Andy Cohen. Travis said yeah. he don't even date a girl unless she give head. Calvin if she Harris what? is not. Don't unless, if she don't give head. He How won't. did that even come up? We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Calvin Harris. <laughs> Damn we're, you. <laughs> listen, we're going to do a deep dive on this tight end. We're going to dive. <laughs> we're going to do a deep <laughs> dive on this tight end. Sounds like someone's obsessed with Taylor. <laughs> Calvin Sounds Harris like is someone's not. into the Taylor mafia. No. <laughs> Welcome to the Scroll gang. Up. Scroll More up. like Travis. Calvin Harris. Oh, shout out to Calvin Harris. Jesus Christ, Tom Hiddleston, we had 10, y'all. She can't go on a date? Can we make it a Yo, son, why are you shaming this girl? Yeah. Why Can are you shaming this dozen? girl? Joe oh. Alwyn is 11, okay? <laughs> uh, Maddie Haley, 12. And that's what Travis, the fuck? Travis is 13. Travis okay. is 13. The woman's 33 years old. Okay. She can't go on a date or I'm not God, mad at any of that. <laughs> one man a year? You this, can't date one man a year? This is what so, I'm saying. This, lot, is what, this is what I'm telling everybody. Yeah. Travis, you better focus on football. Mm. Okay, Taylor is just having fun. Oh, you think Taylor's using them? Taylor my, she, Taylor's living her life, as you just said. She's 33 years old. She's rich as fuck. She likes to kick it, have fun, go out to eat, have a dinner date. The media makes all... By the way... None of these might even be romantic relationships. It's just pictures that we see and people say, oh, somebody's standing next to this person so they could be dating. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But so even if the, they were dating, it's totally okay. She's an independent woman. She could do whatever she wants, even if she wants to get the bottom dropped out. Don't sure. worry. Yo, listen. All she I'm needs simply, material for her albums. That, yo, the album, you know what she does is she'll usually be with the person and that's reflected in her art, as all of us do. Yeah. Um, so what do you think these songs are going to be about? Tight ends. Ooh. Tight ends. Yeah. How she had to loosen up some tight ends. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you think she's pegging? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think she's pegging? Do you think Man, she's getting be behind? Funny as shit. You don't think she's getting Travis behind with her. a fucking kid super customized dildo. Yo. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Shake it off. Shake <laughs> it off. <laughs> yeah. Rinse it off. Listen, all I'm simply saying is, Travis, you need to focus on football. Taylor's just having a good time. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're, black women, he'll be back. Oh, wow. He'll be but back. Bring that, okay, look. Are you going to take him back? If he brings that beard back. You really need the back. beard. You, I need the beard. Because you want to cover as much white skin as possible? Why, why, <laughs> yeah. why, do, you, why do you need the beard? I want beard on my black men, too, though. But mustache is way more classy. Mustache no, it's is not. Classy. A goatee is more classy. No, a yes. goatee is for pedophiles. If you want an actual classy, elegant man, it's a mustache. Come on, think about it. You, you want to solve a crime, mustache? Taylor should have been a summer fling, though. You're not supposed to sleep with white women after Labor Day. He's a white man. Now he, oh, now he's a white man. I've been to the white man. All before, y'all had your po his poster on his wall no, with his didn't. jersey, like he's retired, no, talking yeah, about did. how much y'all love Travis Kelsey. You did. Now all of a sudden, he's a white man. You I did. did not hear y'all identify him as a white man until he started dating Taylor. That's a good what point. Are you talking about? Yes, we did. He's fine for a white man. Everyone would say that. I never heard nah, that. Nah, you didn't identify him as a okay, white so, man until so he started dating a white woman. Lauren said 87%. You're saying everybody. I'm not saying. Well, you just said everybody. So which God, one is it? I hate you're making it general. I don't. I don't, I don't uh, want to speak for black women. Y'all are black I'm women. I'm saying I know a lot of black women. Even Alex said it himself. I know a lot of black women. Even Alex. He thinks <laughs> that Travis is fine too. <laughs> I do know a lot of black women. Even That's black right. Woman like Keep Travis. going. Keep going. Even a black woman like Alex. Thinks <laughs> Travis is fine. I, I mean, excuse me. I did not say that. <laughs> now let's go to Travis. You gotta, on, you gotta stop playing this video. It's driving me fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, let's go to Travis on Andy Cohen. I think Taylor's trying to cross over. I bet you the next album gonna be R and B. What year was this, man? Uh, 2016. 2016. Okay, 2016. Yeah, 2016. We hadn't got the woke culture yet. Okay, I get it. I mean, he looks so different. Exactly. Yeah, I can't believe. Oh, he was on that show though. That he was doing a show on E. Okay, let's hear what he had to say. 
This is this is Travis Kelsey talking about his dating his his dating deal breakers. Is it a deal breaker if a girl won't sleep with you after the third date? The third date, I feel like that's like the that's the breaker right there. As that it? Right. Th three dates. That's like. That's if you like don't have sex the third date, that that's it. You, you won't. I mean, I want to I want to say a deal breaker, but I mean, it's like it's like. It, what did your mother put teach some you? questions in there? <laughs> okay, let's pause that. Let's unpack that. What do you think of his answer? <laughs> I don't, you know, it'd be nice to have sex by then, but, uh, you know, at the same time, maybe you don't. It's not a deal breaker. It's not a deal. If you really like the girl. If you really like the girl, it's not a deal breaker. And, and that's, a, that's a strange thing to say on national television because it's either going to do one or two things. It's either going to make women want to sleep with you before the third date or it's going to make women say, I don't want anything to do with him because he only wants to sleep with me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to be fair, we don't know if we like you until after we nut. So <laughs> whether that happens the first date or the third date, like. But if you take a girl out for three dates and she doesn't, you know, let you hit and then you just stop calling her automatically, that girl is going to think, oh, that's all he wanted me for. No, yeah. you just weren't interesting enough to not fuck. <laughs> it's up to you to be interesting. That's a good, I get what you're saying. You know what I mean? Like, I get what you're saying. Like, <laughs> you but were, what if you're the most interesting woman in the world, but you're sticking to your guns? No matter how interesting this woman is, if she don't let me smash after the third date, I'm not calling her back. No then more. he sucks. But I think that usually, I think, I don't know, I think sometimes women trade sex for being interesting. And if you're interesting, a guy will wait a long time. Now, you might not be the only person he's fucking, and you have to put up with that because you're deciding that you don't want to have sex until you guys have been together for X amount of time. So you but he'll put cut it, that off once. once of course he's he will. Because he's already yeah. into you because you're interesting. It's not their fault that they want to only have sex with you. That's your fault. Yeah. If well, a guy only wants to have sex with you, that's on you. By the way, or you guys just don't mesh. Like you don't, you don't link the things you're interested in, right. the things he's interested, et cetera. So that's, that's right. yeah. And I'm not, by the way, I'm not mad at uh, you know, any woman who chooses to sleep with a man before a third date. And I'm not mad at any woman who chooses not to. Yeah. Because if you, like you said, if you're really interested, right? This guy will constantly be there. Not even just to smash, because he actually likes you. Yeah. You know what I mean? You guys actually have some chemistry. That's I, right. I think, to be honest, I think waiting is better. I, I think waiting I is- I 100% Especially agree. just develop, because it gives you, like on your first date, you might be nervous. You might not actually be yourself. So maybe a few dates in, you start to become yourself, and then he realizes how much more, in love is too early, but how much more into the real you he is. But it takes a little bit to warm up. Yo, give it six months. I think six months is a great time. Are you trying to get people? Come no, on. I'm gonna tell you why. You got it because you want to watch for outbreaks. Oh, within six months you are gonna see a cold sore or something. I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> you gotta know about these kind of things. Yeah, you know but I mean? you, but you won't because if you're not seeing it for six months, you none of the cold sores around you. Nah, right. if it's oh, already not, there, oh, okay, if it's okay. already there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's I why see you just it. put on that Carmex. Oh, do you have a little uh, situation? <laughs> Son, do not put that shit on me. Stop it. I, I, we are, I, I, nah, we are I've not doing that. I've never even seen it. I've never even seen it. I've been here mad long. Yo, Charlotte. Charlotte, whoa, don't wait, do that. Whoa, wait a minute. Don't do that, Why Charlotte. Why are you so no, defensive? No, 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 Because You're being real defensive. Because when y'all start a rumor, that shit goes. What you, we <laughs> didn't even a start rumor. a rumor. We asked a no. question. It was a joke. And you I went into herpes prevent defense Yo, you for did. no reason. You did. You did. I'm, I'm getting ahead of this prevent. bullshit. That was crazy. That was, if, if only you went to prevent before, you wouldn't be in this. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're Taylor Swift, do you bring this up? I mean, let's watch it because I feel like there's one more part that is really interesting. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> okay. Very, very classy nope. gentleman. I, I didn't say you weren't. Those okay. first, those first two dates are top Black. of the line dates. Yes. <laughs> and then that third one's kind of like a relaxed. Right. I'll take a breath. <laughs> is it a deal breaker if a girl has fake boobs? I don't think so. I mean, um, as long as she's comfortable and very confident in what she's what she looks like and in, in how she looks, I mean, I'm uh, I'm all for it. I like his honesty. I like that answer. Of course, yeah. I'm frisky. Yeah. Oh, this is like a. T uh, I'm a little embarrassed to ask this question, but I'm going to ask it because my daughter is here. But okay, is it a deal breaker if a girl if a girl doesn't like to give oral sex? Ah. Sounds like a deal deal breaker to me. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. 
A Ramona agrees. Why did you give him a high five? Why did you do that? That was crazy. That was kind of like... He probably feels the same way. Like, if a guy doesn't give her or... Oh, okay. She says she agrees and then gave him a high five. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I took it as she was going to give him some head. That's how I took it, too. And her daughter's right there. She just said, my daughter's right there. Perfect Vaughn. Why would you high five him after that? You didn't want to ask the question to begin with, and then you gave him a high five. Is there anything after that? Let's make. Let me see if this makes sense. There's no context to this. Let's see. Press play. Oh, Ramona agrees. Oh God! You okay. told Why me not to like ask he don't Avery suck anything <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> See, let me him fuck out of here, bro. Good. Go on. Well, as okay. long as you give it. Okay, is it a deal breaker? Okay, now <laughs> that's, that's, that's context. That's, that's right. That's context. She said, as long as you give it. Um, I don't have a problem. So with that means she was slapping high five to head. Well, she, yeah, she was saying, as long as you give it. As long as she receives it. The reason I have no problem with any of this that he said because all he did. Is set boundaries. I see a man who has clear boundaries. <laughs> mm-hmm. He sets his boundaries. Set your boundaries. And if you don't want to deal with him and his boundaries, then you go find somebody else. Yo, how long? How long do we go down on women though? Like, how old is she? Like, what's what? What's the age limit to that shit? You know, nah, nah, nah. as long as as long as it's there, you got to do it. Man, get the fuck out of here, you, bro. You, you say Are that you now. kidding me? That woman's 60 years old. You go, You don't plan to be with your wife at 60? I do, but I'm not. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you going to let a young boy come in there and do it? Oh. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you got to yeah. do it, bro. Yeah, you No yeah. matter what the age is, you got to get down there, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It no, but you don't think it, it stopped. Like, it got to stop from them. You you think when you're 70, they're gonna be taking out their teeth and Wouldn't going it be after? Better without the teeth? No. Yeah. I mean, I mean. Yeah, but when they look <laughs> up, they look crazy. Right? Like, yeah, that's it, a little wild. 70. Oh man. Man, y'all gonna be 72. You ain't gonna care. No, nah, we don't care. The dick's gonna still gonna be getting hard, bro. Yeah. Al Pacino's still out here getting babies done. That was De Niro, but it's fine, okay. bro. All you know, white people are the same. It's all right. good. That's yeah. right. That's all right. good, yo. It's this Robin Pacino. Ain't Robin Pacino had a baby too? Yeah. He did. Robert yep. Pacino. Fuck it. Robert, Robert. <laughs> no, Robert Pacino. Yeah, I'm not mad at Travis Kelsey, man. He's setting his right, boundaries. Both of them do. Yeah, he's setting his boundaries. He's letting women know what it is. And, yo, it's on you. But if you're Taylor, do you bring this up? No, because we saw the knees, bro. <laughs> if you're There's Taylor, no issue. If you're Taylor and you're, okay, if you're Taylor's PR... And this video is out because this video is only out now because this and this is what happens when you become a, another level of famous because overnight Travis Kelsey has become another level of famous That's facts. just because all of a sudden he's dating Taylor Swift. Go. Jersey sales went up 400%. 400%. You know You're what welcome. I mean? He needs to get Pete Davidson on the phone and call and ask to figure out what to do next. Figure out you know the what deal. I'm saying? But Taylor's people got to be looking at this and saying to themselves, this video is going to make people think things about our girl. So how do you handle this if you're Taylor Swift? I think it's. I mean, I think it's good. I think that it it shows a maturity of her because I think there is still like a a, a kind of like young girlness mm-hmm. in Taylor, and this is good. Now she's dating a man who has boundaries, and a man with boundaries, you know, now we know what to expect. The sad part about this, though, they're both stars. They've already been spotted out once, right, at the game. By the time they get spotted three more times, nah. on, when they see them out on a fourth time, well, two more times, when they see them out on the fourth time, all you're going to see on the social media is Travis hit. Bus Waddle. Yeah. Travis hit. Bus Waddle. Travis hit. Whether no. he hit or not, that's why PR got to be a little concerned. Holy mm. shit. PR got to be a little concerned. Oh, so if they break up before that third hit, oh my God. You, if I'm Taylor, <laughs> I don't let us be seen no more. So black women, would you accept... Travis back after he's been rejected by Taylor? I already told you. What, what'd you say? Bring hear. the beard back. So all it takes Bring is the beard. Bring the swag and the beard back. You can't listen to Taylor. She loves beards. She's from Philly, bro. <laughs> Yo, it really might be a Philly thing. Yeah, guys from that. Philly come out the womb with beards, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, come on, man. That's crazy. Salute the freeway. Like, stop it. Like, yeah. knock it off, Taylor. Damn. Yeah, salute to Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. I hope y'all figure it out, man. Power couple. What else we got, Taylor. <laughs> You want to play your little game, Taylor? Oh, yeah, let's play Taylor's game. It's not a game. <laughs> oh, we sure. weren't playing it. Oh, oh she's God. number one in by all memes necessary. She had Taylor Swift and Travis, so we covered that. Okay, what else we got? Uh, President boy. Biden's yo. cringe gaffe during <laughs> speech calling LL Cool J boy. Do we yo, have yo, a clip? Yo, yo, yo. It's let's just play the clip. so incredible. Shout out to Biden, the motherfucking goat. <laughs> Two of the great artists of our time representing the groundbreaking legacy of hip-hop in America. LLJ Cool J. Uh, Jesus Christ. 
By the way, Jesus Christ. That boy's got, that man's got biceps bigger than my thighs. I think he's been. And MC Light, both of you, thank you. He's awkward. It's time to do a show about him. I feel like every time we give Ukraine like a trillion dollars, <laughs> they're like, yo, run up there and say some wild shit so we forget about yo, it. Yo, let like, him go up there with no prompt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cut that prompter off and let him fire, and that's all we talk about. Ukraine just got another trillion dollars. Nobody even talk about that at all. Because this guy's doing his body thing. Oh, man. But that was um, crazy, bro. When he dropped the boy, bro. Yeah, the boy was crazy, but he corrected himself on the boy. No, like, it, it, I don't think he means it in a derogatory way. He's recognizing that people might interpret it that way. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Well, he's old. He's 137 years old. Yeah, he's very he old. He knows every racial slur. He does. He knows the ones that came, the ones that went, the ones that stuck. And he used them when they would really... When they ripped, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. When um, that engine was new. Yeah, the thing that bothered me the most about this was him calling... LL Cool J, LL J Cool J. J. And the reason it bothered me is because when LL came out with his first album, Joe Biden was my age. No. He was 44. I'm 45. But Joe Biden was 44 years old when LL Cool J came out with his first album. LL's been white famous since about at least 30 years. Bro. He's been doing the NCIS. That's what I'm saying. What do you think Biden thought the N stood for in that? <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, it's what Biden thought. It's not me. Why did you look at me like you was about to attack me? Okay? Now, that would have that? been crazy. What? Yo. It was like, I used to watch him on N word CIS. See, I N word CIS. What the fuck did he. Like, like, he going to drop one of these days, yo. I can see it. He going to drop no, one. I see it coming. I see it coming. I mean, the thing about this man, it's just like even with the word boy, right? He corrected himself. Boy is a white racist word. We understand that. But LL's 50 years old. But context matters, you know what I mean? But he corrected himself in real time. And this is the same guy who once said Barack Obama was the first African-American that he's met who was, what he said, clean. Oh, you don't remember I, that? No, nah, I don't remember You that. don't remember that? Nah. Y'all don't remember. Hold on. Yo, Biden's the goat, Hold on, yo. Let me get the exact quote. He's, a, he's the first hold one on. I met. It seemed like they didn't know how to shower. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me read the exact quote because y'all think I made this up. I don't believe it. Yeah, he it. said, Joe Biden, he says, I mean, you got the first mainstream African-American who is articulate and bright and clean and a nice looking guy. I mean, that's a storybook, man. Joe Biden describing fellow candidate wow. Barack Obama. No, 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 no. Let's give some context to this, please. Clean meaning no controversy. Eh? But to say the first mainstream African American, so this is the first, it's the first mainstream African American you met with no controversy in politics. You got to be clear. You got to be clear about that, though. Oh. You just say mainstream. Yeah. Like you can't just say. Well, let's see it because I'd like to laugh. I mean, shit. I mean, you got the first sort of mainstream African American yeah. who is articulate and bright and, and, and clean and nice looking guy. I mean, it's, that's a storybook, man. Yeah. It's a storybook, man. God damn it. I yeah. want this to be more racist than it is, but I think <laughs> what he's, I, I believe what he's referring to is candidate. Like the first one that has been a mainstream, there's been fringe candidates, for example, like uh, Jesse Jackson. I don't know if you would consider mainstream. There's, there's, like name some others, I don't know. Uh, Al Sharpton ran. Uh, but Barack was like coming from within the system, he's mainstream, and I think he's trying to complement all those other things. But I understand when you're looking at him through the lens of, I just hey, don't think he would ever use that term to describe a white candidate, and there are plenty of them well, that's dirty. Yeah, we've had a bunch of them already. I'm saying, but it's a bunch of them that's dirty is what I'm saying. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, who would be the, like, who's a clean politician? Even, I don't know if there is one, but if there was one, I just don't think he would use that 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 language. But he's got a history of this. But once again, he's 127 years old, yeah, man. Yeah, dude. It's hard for old dogs to learn new tricks. But it's embarrassing. He's trying. Bro. Well, how do we still have him <laughs> as a president, right? What? He's trying. He is trying. You know what I'm saying? He is trying. Like, it's, like, it's like when men, right? Remember when we stopped saying stop saying the B word? I never used it that much anyway, but there was a time where a lot of men collectively said we're going to stop using the B word. I love saying that word. Bro. But we stopped. And then when we started saying things like female, 
They got upset. They told us that was wrong. I know. That's why you always got to stay strong. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be upset so that's, no matter that's, what. That's yeah. Biden. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, like that's him. We actually gave you a word to be upset about. You should have been happy. And then we made it nice, and now you can't even you can't even really make the argument that female is disrespectful. And I, think, I didn't know it was a thing. To someone <sighs> and I, yeah, think, I really do think the correction matters in this situation. Because you got to think he's 90, 60 and a half, right? <laughs> Right, he's nine. What did I fucking say? I he's ninety six. You sound and a like half. Biden, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's yeah. ninety six and a half years old. Yeah, he's he's he was probably using that language for the first sixty years. Of his also, life. why are they giving him the most complex black names? <laughs> LL Cool J, MC Light. Just give him like Daryl Johnson. If we're being honest, yeah, he probably stopped talking like this when he became Barack Obama's vice president. That's when he probably started even working on it. Mm. 2008. <laughs> Just oh think about that. God. Your whole life, you were on your other, you know, segregationist senators and everybody else. Uh, Y'all just calling them free whatever. balling. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You like this. Can you believe this N-word wants me to be his president? Vice yeah. president? I want to play this game with you so bad, but I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say any of them. You think this colored really got to change? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Joe. Do, Joe. They, do they even have the water fountains in there for that? They probably had them in a class. I'm not even joking. They probably had Joe Biden in a class to teach him what to say Yo, and what not to say. I just say. thought of something. When when they I don't stopped, want you to think right no, now. No, no. <laughs> I don't like when you think about stuff. No, stuff no. Like when they stopped making the water fountains for whites and for at the turn the time the term was colored, what they just they didn't remove the for colored water fountain. They just took away the for colored. Right? Yeah. So there was a time where people <laughs> knew which was which, but would they like just not use it themselves? Like I'm just so like obviously oh, no. obviously the black people are like, nah, I need to try this white water. But like were the white people going like, yo, we gotta see what's going on over there? Like they're I've pretty thought, fast. I, yo, I've thought about that, right? Cause if you're a child You know what I mean? Like No, I thought about that because if you're a child, right, our yeah. kid. Or if you watch sports, you, you're, you're going, like, I you're, need to try that. Like, that's, I, that's how kids are. We're wired to want to do things people tell us not to yeah. do. So if you're a white person and they say this is the four colors only, you're going to be like, well, I want to see what the fuck they're drinking. Especially like, if you're a white person like playing cornerback, you know? Yeah. And, and then you're like, well, wait a minute. like <laughs> I want to go see what yeah, they're drinking. Like, them, but, uh, yeah. Or there had yeah. to be times where like somebody had to go to the bathroom real, real bad. You're a white person that had to go real bad. And the closest bathroom to you is the for colors only bathroom. You know what I'm oh, saying? Wow. Then you go in there and fuck it up like Andrew would and blame it on the black people. <laughs> you know what, what, what do you mean? What would I do? <laughs> what would I do? <laughs> when you go in a bathroom and destroy it. Oh, like yeah. doo yes. doo. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and black people never smell doo doo's nah, like that. Not like yours. Do Nobody doo doo's. Honestly, do mine, mine are special. No, no, I will. No, 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 I will. No, you different. So, but also think about that white guy that got to pee next to black people for the Taylor, first time in his life. I want to fight. No, no, no. I need to fight. I want to hate right back. I want to jump Taylor, yo. <laughs> oh, because she brought up. No, 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 no. Put it back. No, you need to put it back and you need to be. You, you, we, I put it up you are so y'all can see the sometimes. difference of the water fountain. Taylor typed in black only I water fountains that. and Why a bunch of that? pictures from prison really? pulled up. Really? <laughs> that's what I did? That's not what that is? Taylor, really? that's fucking that's racial. That's what it says right there? That what was it racial. It says racist water fountains. Oh, she put... <laughs> <laughs> That's all she typed was racist water fountains. She found what she looking for, though. Exactly. I don't see what's the difference between the white and the colored one. The white one looks actually one. like a sink. Exactly. The white water fountain looks like a sink. The colored one looks like an actual water fountain. And they come from the same pipe. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up. Grow up. We all come from the same pipe, Taylor. <laughs> that's up. real as shit, man. There's one man that started it all somewhere. When you really think of that is a great way to look at racism, yo. We all come from one fucking pipe, man. I don't know if it was Adam or Antoine, but there was one man that started all this shit, yo. Do you yo. think Adam was black? Uh, Probably. I always figured Adam yeah, was white because he had sex with his sister, but he could be <laughs> he could be black. Do blacks do that? Yeah, I never understood that black. I never understood that logic in the Bible. Well, actually, I don't know if it's his sister. Technically, it's his rib. Yeah. It was his rib. But what was weird, remember they said Cain killed Abel. Yeah. And then, and then went off and found a wife. So then where'd they come where from? Where the fuck did the wife come from, bro? And then I remember reading somewhere when somebody said Cain ended up marrying his sister. So that's where the incest comes from there. Eve was kind of just like... If you could masturbate, and then when your cum comes out, you could turn it into like some type of clay figurine that comes to life. 
<laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, that's that could be what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, or the, it was uh, the rib. Why the rib though? I figure you don't need that bone. It's crazy, right? Yeah. Like why the rib? Like I never like why would... every other bone you gonna need. Yeah. But the rib, I feel like if you, I could do without one. Yeah. You know. All right. What else we got, Taylor? And by any means necessary. Oh, it was just Britney Spears. No, 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 no. no. Britney driving plies crazy. <laughs> she got plies going crazy. Wait, why? Plies loves Britney Spears. Every time Britney Spears, oh my god. Oh, I didn't see this now. I didn't know she, <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Remember when Tony Yayo said he would never want to beef with Terror Squad because them motherfucking Puerto Ricans be dancing with knives? Yo, Remember he said is, that on Drink Champs? Yeah. Britney saw that interview. Because there ain't no way in hell. What the fuck is Britney? Them poor dogs behind her, bro. <laughs> bro, just think she was with her fiance for <laughs> years. He dealt with this shit for years. <laughs> Waking up every morning. Try to, try to cut a bagel Britney. in half, can't find the knives, goes into the other room, this bitch is singing, dancing. Brittany, I be trying to hold you now, man. But boy, you don't help when you do shit like uh, that. Let her Raphael a little bit, bro. God, it's all good. Damn, Brittany. What is she doing? I want to see Brittany at next year's iHeartRadio Music. Yes, we need that. We need, yo, John Sykes, Tom Pullman, Bob Pittman, Rich Bressler. You got to make that happen, man. Bro. We need Brittany Spears headlining next year's iHeartRadio Music Festival. I don't know what we got to do to get her out the house, what you got to pay her, but she needs to be doing it. And bring the knives, bro. <laughs> God damn. Brittany man. needs to date, date an NFL player so they could both have CTE together. <laughs> <laughs> just Antonio Brown and Britney Spears just be doing crazy shit all day and it be making the most sense to both of them. <laughs> Yo. Wow, Britney Spears has fascination with knives, sleeps with one under bed. Brittany can't afford security no more, yo. Yeah, nah, what the don't. fuck is going on, bro, man? Bro, yo, lock her up, bro. We, we really, <laughs> nah, we need to lock her up, yo. We need to lock her up, yo. Oh my nah. God, Brittany. This is entertaining. This shit is entertaining, but yeah. it's actually sad and dangerous, man. We don't know where this shit could go. <laughs> let's pay <let's, let's laughs> some bills. <laughs> no, you yeah. got to, listen, man, I promise you, when you hear Tony Yayo talk about how members of Terror Squad are dangerous because they be dancing with machetes, <laughs> that's how that shit looks, man. My God. Britney Spears is a member of Terror Squad. <laughs> TSBS, baby. <laughs> it's going down. Oh, let's pay some bills, man. What we got here? Hero Brett. Uh, salute to Hero Bread, man. Hero makes sliced breads, buns, and tortillas that are available on Hero.co, okay? Hero.com and Amazon. Hero has fewer calories than the leading national brand with 5 to 10 grams of protein per serving. It's soft, fluffy, and delicious, but it's also high in fiber with ultra-low net carbs and zero grams of sugar per slice. Right now, Hero Bread is offering our listeners 10% off their first order. Just go to Hero.co and use our code IDIOTS to save on Hero Bread today. That's H-E-R-O dot C dash O to save 10% today. All right? Hero dot C dash O to save 10%. Uh, talk space too, man. Salute to talk space, man. Uh, you know I'm a big proponent of therapy. Everybody on this podcast is, man. And with talk space, you can sign up online and get a personalized match with a provider that's right for you, typically within 48 hours. It's, in, in, it's incredibly convenient to have virtual sessions with your licensed therapist from the comfort of your home. There's no need to commute to appointments, miss time at work, our lineup child care in order to attend sessions. It's mental health care made easy. Talk space lets you send messages to your therapist so you don't have to wait for your next session. Therapy can help you shift your perspective, okay? You can find tools to cope in difficult times and be a guiding light. Talkspace can help with any specific challenges you might be facing. It's the number one online therapy platform with licensed therapists in over 40 specialties, including anxiety, depression, substance abuse, relationship issues, and much more. Talkspace is secure and private using the latest end-to-end bank-grade encryption technology to store client information and complying with the latest HIPAA regulations. Talkspace is affordable and in-network with most major insurers. As a listener of this podcast, You'll get $80 off your first month with Talkspace when you go to Talkspace.com slash idiots. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com slash idiots to get $80 off your first month and show your support for the show. That's Talkspace.com slash idiots. Let's get back to the show. Hezzy? Yes, sir. You got church announcements? Yes, sir. Um, yo, Toronto, I'm excited, man. This Friday, Saturday, Scotiabank Arena. T-Dot. 
T-Dot, we coming out. Uh, I know Charlotte's trying to rile some shit up right before I get out there. Mm-hmm. I see you. I appreciate you trying to help out your mans with his album release. No, man. Who? <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I help a lot of people from Toronto. What do you mean? This guy's crazy. <laughs> anyway, so I'll see you out there. Also, uh, listen, we added seats in Dublin. Uh, we had another show in Manchester. Um, so make sure you go check that, those out as well. And then we've uh, added another show in Perth, added another show in Sydney. We added seats in Brisbane and uh, Melbourne. Thank you guys so much for selling out all these shows, man. We really appreciate you. DeAndreSchultz.com for tickets. And uh, what about you, Charlotte? What you got? Uh, Saturday, October 7th, man, my third annual Mental Wealth Expo is happening at the Marriott Marquis in Times Square uh, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. It is a free event. I bring together some of the best uh, therapists and psychiatrists in the country, along with some of the best mental health advocates and, you know, uh, mental health experts, just people who want to share their experiences, man. Um, Let me tell you some of the lineup, man, because we got such... A bunch of great panels lined up for you. Uh, Of course, Dr. Alfie Breland Noble, who runs my organization, the Mental Wealth Alliance, as well as the Acoma Project. She's going to be there. Dr. Rita Walker is going to be there. Michelle Williams from the Checking In podcast on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network, as well as Destiny's Child. And, you know, uh, she's a part owner of the Chicago Sky. Like, Michelle does her thing. She'll be there. Uh, My man, Dr. Jay Barnett will be there. Tamika Mallory, Brandon Marshall, my good sister, Angela Rye will be there. Shaka Sinkoro will be there. Psychotherapist Elliot Connie will be there. Uh, Resma Minicum off of my grandmother's hands. My doula, me and my wife's doula, Latham Thomas, she'll be there. So Saturday, October 7th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. For more information, go to mentalwealthexpo.com and it is a free event. Oh, and my man Carson Daly. Carson Daly, he's a big mental health advocate, mental health uh, advocate. He'll be there as well. So I'll see y'all Saturday, October 7th. And I gotta salute my girl, man, Angela. I told y'all, Angela has this fantastic drink in stores called Carviva. Um, Carviva Detox. It's, a, it's antioxidant juice. This is the grape kiwi I'm holding. I got to salute Angela because Angela is now in 300 stopping shops around the country. 300 stopping shops around the country. You can go get uh, Carviva Wellness, man. And, you know, Angela, I've watched her build this from the ground up. And things take time. I was telling Taylor this earlier because she was talking to me about just life and being impatient and, you know, wanting things to happen now. That's just not the way life works, man. So I watched somebody like Angela, a woman entrepreneur, start this from the ground up. And it's now in Stop and Shop. It's a great product. Salute to Carviva Wellness and uh, the homie Angela. Now let's get back to the show. Schultz, did you see Usher is headlining the Super Bowl halftime show? I love it. That's absolutely amazing. He's an incredible performer. Music is incredible. Uh, I'm very excited for it. Usher's going to be doing his thing at the Super Bowl, man. Um, Yeah, I can't wait to see it. I think we all saw this coming. Uh, I remember when they announced Las Vegas was the next site for the Super Bowl. I know. I I definitely said that on Breakfast Club a bunch of times. Usher has to headline the Super Bowl. Because he has this residency. He's got the residency there. He's the only one that makes sense. I'm not going to lie. There was a part of me that thought Rock Nation was going to go back white just because... You've had The weekend. you've had Dr. Dre and Snoop, you had Rihanna. Um, I don't know why I thought that. I should have known better. I mean, look. I, I really thought this was going to be Taylor's year, I'm not going to lie. I, it shouldn't be Taylor. It should be Morgan Wallen or Whalen or whatever, however you say his last name. But he's Really? Got, Over Taylor? Yeah. For football. For football. It's hard to say that now, though. But Morgan's got the N-word controversy. I know. That, well, he if he it. didn't have that? He had it, though. That's no, right. he's passed it, but I still think it'd be hard for the NFL to be like... If Dr. Dre and Snoop and 50 Cent and Eminem can do the Super Bowl halftime the, show. The expectations are lower. For rappers? For rappers. It's so funny you say that because 50 Cent says that all the time. I've asked 50, and you can go look up the interview on Breast Call. I've asked him how he gets away with the stuff he gets away with. He was like, because I'm a rapper. Hmm. I, try, I, I, I know when to be a rapper. And, I, I just, kinda, and, I, yeah. and he's like, I just lean back on that. I'm a rapper. He's a genius with that shit. 50 is an absolute genius with his freedom yeah. to operate however the fuck he wants in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. makes movies and TV shows and still gets to act like a rapper and yeah. nobody says shit. Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean I, I get it, you know, coming from a person who's been labeled a shock jock. Yes. You know, like you can't be shocked 
when you hear something I've said before. Yeah. You know, past, present, or future, because I'm a shot jock. Yeah. And if shot don't work, I just be like, I'm retarded. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> One of the two, one of the two will get me out of this jam. <laughs> one of the two, one of the two will get me out of the jam. But salute to Usher. Uh, next year is New Orleans. You already know who it'll be next year. Who we got? Come on, man. New Orleans? Morgan Wallen. Nah, bro. You got to go Lil Wayne. I, I mean, you got to, to me, you got to go Lil Wayne, Drake, and Friends. You know? are you? Because are, you can't just say Lil Wayne and Friends because... They didn't do just Dr. Dre and Friends. They did Dr. Dre, Snoop, and Friends. So you got to go Lil Wayne, Drake, and Friends well, Drake, in New Orleans. Well, Drake opened up for Lil Wayne in the Super Bowl. He's big enough doing to it do together. it himself. Ah. The way Dre and Snoop did. Oh, that they do. Yeah, yeah it'd be yeah. Lil Wayne and oh, Drake. Oh, bro, and then you bring out... Nikki. Juvenile could do no, back that ass bring up. Out, bring out Juvenile. That's what you bring yeah, out. Oh, definitely, definitely bring out Juvenile. Yeah. Juvenile do back that ass up. But BG's then the, you bring out, out Nikki... They're not gonna bring BG. Salute to BG though. They could though if they did bling bling. Bling bling. They could do bling bling. They bring uh Tiger might come out, you know. But I think if they did it, it would probably you'd probably see those four, just like when Dre and Snoop did it. Dre and Snoop bought out Mary, Kendrick, Eminem, and 50. What about Boosie? Why don't they bring out Boosie? Hey, Boosie wasn't part of that family. But still, <clears throat> um He's I, Louisiana. I think I think they would, down. they would keep it cash money, young money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, if they did it, they would keep it cash money, young money. And I mean, by the way, everybody that we just named is completely big enough that America knows Drake, Nikki, Wayne, Juvie would back that ass up. Like, that'd be great. And I'll tell you something else. You said something about Morgan Wallen. Here's, here's the most interesting thing about the last two Super Bowls, and this is why you can't tell Rock Nation nothing. They won an Emmy with Dr. Dre and Snoop, and they're nominated for five Emmys with Rihanna wow. right now. So Rihanna's going to probably win one. Mm -hmm. So the Super Bowl halftime show, the last two years, have either had a show that's won Emmys or is Emmy nominated. You think Usher's not going to be Emmy nominated? No, no, Usher's fantastic. That's what I'm saying. So they, yeah. like, you know, you, Country music is just having such a wave right now that it, either this year or next year, doing a country music artist would just absolutely demolish. And Morgan Wallen is the one to do. I just don't know if the NFL Damn, can well, get Taylor? past. Just because Taylor's female. Morgan Wallen is female and male. Mm. Morgan Wallen did the song with... Uh, they? Say again? Yeah. <laughs> He's non-binary? He's not binary His audience is non-binary. It is not bound really? to one gender. Yes, 100%. Interesting. 100%. Interesting. And he got rap too. You know that song. Last night we made the liquor talk. Right? That's Morgan Wallen? Yes. Did not know that. And he got the song with the, the guy from uh, Chicago. What's his name? Uh, rapper? Yeah. I didn't know that was Morgan. I thought that was uh, What's Daniel What's the Bees? street rapper from Chicago? Uh, Not Chief, Chief Keef. Keef? No. Uh, you said street rapper Dirk? from Chicago. Like you really narrowed it down. Oh, Lil Dirt. Yeah. I did not know that was Morgan. I thought that was Daniel D's, yo. Hmm. <laughs> Bro, it, it, it's just so obvious when he sets yeah, it up. <laughs> that little kid left. Yeah, it's really. <laughs> oh, oh my God! You know that's the name of Glass Malone's new album too. I'm dead serious. What? It's, it's cancel these nuts. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, shout out to Glasses, man. All right, so let's talk about it. What's going on with you and Drake? Is this just further brilliant marketing for his album release? Yes. I told y'all this, but nobody believes me because I'm lying. But the reality <laughs> of the situation is you should believe me even when I'm lying. This is just what we do whenever he has <laughs> a certain project, a certain song. I, I don't think he needs it. You know what I'm saying? But, but he, he wants me to do it. Oh, so, so he'll reach out to you and be like, yo, can you trash my... My single. Yes. I need yeah. you to be very critical of this record. Yeah. And, you know. So that um, I can, then, then he'll be like, I'm, I'm going to make fun of you. Because all attention is, is, is good attention. Uh, and, and, you know, it's number one now. What do you want me to say? Oh, my God. So you think it wouldn't have been number one without you doing that? No, nah, it would have been number one regardless. It's Drake and SZA. You know what I'm right. saying? It's Drake and SZA. Like, you know, like, that is a guaranteed... That's guaranteed to hit the charts. And I, I, it was funny because I was watching the uh, act, and Ak was talking about how I probably feel like nobody cares about the record because it's not on radio. That's right. not true, though. The, re the, way, the way these songs chart is through streams, 
radio play, and sales. And I was looking at the numbers. You probably can pull them up because I saw it on Billboard. I think he had like 34.6 million streams, 5.4 million radio impressions because the day it came out, iHeart played it every hour on the hour. Mm. You know oh, what I'm saying? Wow. Like every top of the hour, the Drake and Scissor record played. So it wasn't even just playing on hip hop and R&B stations. It was playing on the pop stations too because it's Drake and fucking Scissor. Right. He sold 2,000 copies. He sold 2,000 copies. So I think he was like number 29 digital sales, but the number one most streamed digitally. Right. Drake and Scissor's gonna, gonna have that kind of curiosity. Right. You're gonna go listen to the record. Did you take exception to anything he said about you? No. He used my jokes against me. That's what I thought was quite interesting. Because you say that as a compliment to yourself. And I don't know if you- Whoa, 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 let's be clear. Yeah. Mars Chestnut says he gets mistaken for me. Now, now, don't, I don't want to hear no, oh my God, Taylor. He said it himself on the Jennifer Hudson show. Try to make you feel better. You're going to be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> think about that. He's an actor. No, I didn't stop to think about that. <laughs> I, stopped the, I, I, stopped the, I stopped myself from saying something to you. Wow. <laughs> hey, Good that's job. what I did, ma'am. Good job. All right. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just something that we do. Um, and you should just believe me. Even though I'm lying. And it's so funny to me. This is the fun, this is the funniest shit, man. I'm gonna show you this, right? Look at this right here. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. I love, I love this world that we're in. I love this world that we're in. Read that headline. Who's that from, first of all? That's Fader magazine. This is read oh, the headline. I can't see this fader because it has these ads up. Right. Oh, fader, fader, scroll fader. Up. Yes, scroll the up. headline is Charlemagne the God says his beef with Drake is planned. Yes, okay, let me show you another one. <laughs> let, me show you, let me show you another one. This is really good shit. I love this. I love this type of shit, because it's true. They just, get <laughs> hold on. It's true, that it, it is planned. Okay, this is a good one. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, this, hold on, this is a better one. Hold this on, is the this best one. thing Drake could have did. This is, this is better this? than any interview. Hip Hop BX, <laughs> what does that say? Charlemagne the God comes clean about the Drake feud. I'm part of the album rollout. Never mind the fact that they quote me saying I'm lying. Don't worry about that. Believe me, even when I'm lying. Okay? Elaborate on this. <laughs> what do you mean? So they're printing the most salacious headline, even though you said you're lying. And in the article, they say that you said you're lying. Yes. But they lead... With the crazy thing. Nobody cares about the truth wow. when the lie is more entertaining. So true. How many years have I been telling y'all this? So true. We sat in this studio and told two lies back to back about Beyonce, told people we were lying, and they still ran with it as a headline. You're right. You're and right really now, right. I'm telling y'all I'm lying even though I'm not lying, and you should believe me. Me and Drake playing this whole thing out. So what else are you doing for the rollout? This is it. This is what I always do every rollout. Just but go there's back, nothing else. Go back and do the history. A ever since after the bottles, after back, I'm not gonna sit there and say it always was like this. After the back to back bottles, that's when we started coming to this agreement. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. It's not the first time I've done this. Just go back and watch. Now, are you getting paid for this? Is there some payola? No, it's just fun. So you're just doing it to help a buddy. Two people with six senses of humor. Six senses of humor. See? Let's see what you do. That's there. it. So, uh, yeah, for, the, for all the dogs in the stores, uh, uh, October, <laughs> October what, Taylor? Isn't that October this Friday? Yeah, October something. Would you have preferred an interview or? No. No? Nah? I'm, I'm not, no. I'm not, in, I, never. I'm That'd be not, good to have an interview with you and Drake. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not interested in that. Really? Wait, why? What do you for mean? You're what? not interested in the interview with Drake, come on. I like, I, for what? I think I'm 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 Skip Bayless to Drake's LeBron James. Oh, and I'm perfectly okay with that. Oh wow. Oh god. I'm perfectly okay because he gets a lot of he gets a lot of critique from a lot of different people, you know. And I I, I think I'm very uh, fair now. Before I was just I was just hate. I was just fucking with him. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That was just me back in the day. I was just taking shots like it was funny. But I think I give a lot of fair critique. I even think this right here. I think this was very fair critique. Oh, wait a minute. About this record. But I don't think Skip is fair to LeBron. I think Skip is... Yeah, but I'm just using that. I don't think, I don't think Skip is fair to LeBron either. But you believe you're being fair to... Now. Yeah. I think Skip is fairer now. 
Oh, really? You think so? I don't know. I don't. I don't. Yeah, watch he it. don't. He don't. He don't have no choice but to be now. Early on in LeBron's career, a lot of the things that you could hold over LeBron's head, LeBron has surpassed. Mm. I think the reason you know why I mean? Skip I be- used to get on LeBron for not being a winner. Yeah, I think the reason why I believe that you guys are in this together, even though that's a lie, it's not. No, believe no. Believe me when I'm lying. I know. I want to believe you when you're when you're lying. But I think the reason why is because he picked exceptionally handsome Come photographs of you. I was uh, thinking the same yeah. thing. So if he Did was I say really that yesterday, oh I was God. like, yeah, he picked some really good pics. Because if he was really angry, <laughs> you could go get the pics of you where you look <laughs> like did. one of those Bahamian. Pigs. But he showed the evolution. <laughs> like, look, he yeah. starts with this. This ain't even that bad. Your no, that color's bad. looking pretty good there. No, that was 12 years ago. By the way, you've looked worse. Color, yeah, that color. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't even remember I said that. I don't even know what you're talking about. Now the color's three, a little bit worse. There's three sexual orientations: gay, straight, or Drake. Yeah, that was. But look at these pictures that he posted. Go. I don't even know what this is re- referencing. <laughs> Why are you playing this? I don't want to hear this. Stop bringing me back to the. I don't want to hear the old me. <laughs> okay, I am not. Right, can we go back to that? this crazy motherfucker? Good looking him. Go to the picture where he's he's looking handsome. I think he so deleted all of them. That's a good picture. And then there's another one where you're like in the same sweater where you could see you, where you're yeah, like very like handsome. Up. Yeah, yeah. Why would he pick the most handsome version of you unless you guys are in this together and this is just part of the rollout? I'm not going to sit here and tell y'all anymore. Believe me when I'm lying. We plan this out. It works. He's number one in the country right now. Do you make do you make sure that he doesn't put an ugly picture of you up there? Is that part of the agreement? Don't all women pick their pictures before they're posted? <laughs> mm. Come on, man. What is wrong with y'all? Beautiful black woman over here. Exactly. <laughs> See? Come on. Why do you say I am fifty percent woman. Yeah, welcome. He is fifty percent woman. Just like you're a fifty percent man. You're half man. You're a fifty percent man and woman. Yeah. To you're half mother, half oh, father. What are the ingredients that make you? Your daddy and your mama's pie. What else we got, Taylor Gang? Huh? What else we got? You want to look at me? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Taylor hit me with the loaded lux. Look at me, King. Yeah. Look at me, King. Yo, look at me, King. I just dissed you. <laughs> oh, what else we got? What else happened this week, man? I don't know how, but the, the Remy Ma Papoose drama got on my... Uh... Timeline. I don't you know, guys I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know why this is being discussed. I think it's because, well, let's set it up. Do you want to say <sighs> You thought she, was, she did a good job. Recently. Yeah, she did. Yeah, I see, here's the thing. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like talking about this. Because it's not confirmed, so it... Yeah, man, you got to, like, these are people, these people are married. And as a married man, and it shows you know, this is, this is, the, this is one of the rumors I would never want out there. Got you. You know what I'm I saying? I respect No, 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 that. And, 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 and it's like, there's nothing to discuss except for the gossip of the situation. Yeah, yeah. You know I what I mean? That. When we talk about- That's respectful. Taylor and uh, whoever, what's the guy named? Travis, Travis Kelsey. Yeah. We've got things we can actually look at and see and yeah, speculate. I got there's you. nothing to really speculate here other than just the gossip. Well, there's a I mean? there's a video or there's a picture, but yeah, I What's hear what picture? you're saying. I didn't see the picture. Yeah, of, of uh, Remy. Of them, yeah. yeah, Remy Ma like having you know lunch or something. But that's because she's his entertainment manager. Yeah, th- this that's is- her whole. And I think that's the other thing. People, this Chrome Twenty Three is Remy's league. Interesting. Yeah, this is hers. Like this is this whole Chrome Twenty Three freestyle thing is Remy's league. Remy is this guy's entertainment manager. You know what I'm saying? And and yeah, I, I even when Remy did this interview and we were talking about it on Breakfast Club, I was like, yo, I like the way Remy handled it. A lot of people said that they didn't, but for me, it's just like, yo, man, when you know nobody cares about the truth when the lie is more in Yeah, this and is no great. matter what you say. Motherfuckers aren't gonna give a fuck about the words. They're gonna care about what they feel. Nah, that's a good ass point. If bro. they feel like, nah, Remy did that shit, it don't matter what she says. So why give it any energy whatsoever? That's Even if she point. comes out and be like, yo, this shit ain't true. Even though I, I've heard, I thought I saw her tweet that, you know what I mean? But it's just like, I know if that was me, I wouldn't want my my significant other talking about it in no way, shape, or form. Yeah. Regardless of how, what went down. Yeah. You know? That's that's just me. That's just my personal opinion. And it's, it, it is, you know, I, I I know people will be upset. Like, why don't y'all want to talk about that? It's just like, man, when it comes to shit like that, marriage and gossip or infidelity, come on, man. Did you watch the battle? I did. And what'd you think? Bro, oh, did you see Rap Them battle? There's a guy that was doing the earlier thing called Rap Them. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I, was, I was close. You didn't have to repeat close. it. You didn't have to repeat I, it. <laughs> I was close. I was oh. close. <laughs> I was this close. How, how close? How close? I, I was right there. I say? was right there. Like, what's I was right there. I'm like, right there. Okay. I was right there. And I was like, <laughs> oh, and then I heard it. Yeah. <laughs> and I heard it in my head. I heard it in my head. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Uh, who, who, did, who did you think won, won the battle? Who did I think won? The, I mean, I only saw. I really only saw one person rap. I saw the guy rapping, talking who, about who made uh, the allegation. Yeah, and I only saw him. What else we got, Taylor Gang? I'm glad Usher stopped himself from ser serenading Gabrielle Union. Yeah, that was funny. Due to Dwayne Wade, but you know what? He's disrespectful because he said. Knowing how we feel about him, he knows exactly who to sing to when we come see his show in October. Wow. All right, I'm just telling you. I already told him. I said, all right, Usher, you're going to be singing to all of us. Oh, yeah, we're going to do a Boys Night Out. I'm going to be singing to all of <laughs> how us. How do we do the Boys Night Out? How do we organize that? Get with an LGBTQ organization. Oh, yeah. It's like no gays to make it weird. Huh? <laughs> Can't be any gays to make it weird. It's got to be all straight men going to see Usher. Because if a gay guy, well, he there, don't know if the guys are straight or not. No, but if a gay guy's there, then it then it then it doesn't count. It's not weird that a guy is hitting on a gay guy because that's what gay people do. Mm. What's well, weird gay. is two straight dudes singing love songs to each other because yeah. we're straight. That's what makes it awesome. Yeah. Um, oh bless you, God. God. Damn. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that? <laughs> Running out the room. <laughs> He'd be dead? Listen, this is interesting. Yes. Where All is of Chris? a sudden, Chris. He's got COVID. Got Chris COVID. comes to work for the least amount for an Asian I've ever met in my entire life, yo. <laughs> Have you ever met an Asian that misses more work than Chris, bro? Have you ever met an Asian that misses? When he runs out of sneakers, he stops coming to work. <laughs> That's Chris's so rule. Stupid, man. Yo, talk to Premium Pete. Get yourself six new pairs of sneakers <laughs> so we can do this goddamn podcast together, Chris. Listen. Um, this has become an interesting conversation. Okay. Bobby, what's Bobby's last name? Al Bobby Altoff. Altoff. Yes. Uh, Offset is appearing on the latest episode of Bobby Altoff. What does Bobby have? A podcast? A yes. YouTube show? Podcast. Yes. Podcast. Very okay. Podcast. Can we hear this, this exchange? Because I saw some very interesting things said about this exchange. Dang. Why are you <laughs> doing that? Because you're Taylor. <laughs> No, it's not me. It's because you're Taylor, yo. <laughs> yo. Yo, her being upset at herself. Her being upset at herself. Unbelievable. Is, dang. Uh, <laughs> Why is that Dang. Because uh, so you would think you have it ready to go. You'd think like, you'd yeah. try all the clips, play them all on this TV. You do. That's um, the question. I interview people. Why? Because I want to get to know them. Why do you want to get to know me? Um, I didn't. You did. Your team reached out to mine. Don't cap. Let's not cap about that. Let's not put, that's not flex for the gram. Uh oh. CAP. Flag on the play. <sighs> cap. What was that? Are you trying to make a song right now? No, it was cap. Okay. I honestly don't know how this came about. I'm not going to lie to you. Me either. Okay. Well, my team could have reached out to yours. I'm not going to, I don't want to make you look bad. They had to show me who Bobby was. I thought they were talking about Bobby Boucher. Never heard of Offset. In the my water? Life. Yes, you have. I have not. I googled Damn. you on the way here, and I read something about you. I had to go on TikTok. I couldn't even Google Can I? you. Thank you. I was. I had to go TikTok search. I couldn't Google you. Google's not there yet. You're not there yet. But you'll be there. But you're on TikTok. Hmm. I mean, but I, they both know what they're doing. This is the point of the interview. I would. I would give Bobby a little bit of advice, if if I may. Um. I don't know how long this is sustainable because it never truly is for anybody. For anybody, for people who do what she does, you can go look at the history of it. For people who do what she does, even when they act informed, it's not sustainable because after a while, the joke is kind of up. So You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what is so uh, awesome about these interviews initially is it's like Ali G or something like that. Yeah. It's, not it's like the people don't know, so they succumb to the moment. That's right. Now they know. They're going prepared. They might be defensive. 
So I don't think that it, it, it stops necessarily, but what you have to do is up the joke level. So it's like, the joke used to be, this person is in this incredibly awkward interview and didn't know, and then the whole thing is this, this like beautiful cringe fest. So, but now what you have to do is what Zach Galifianakis did with uh, Between Two Ferns, which is- Be informed. It, but, but, but also write bits. So he would write jokes for the guests and for himself. And he would surprise the guests with the jokes. Mm. And all of a sudden, now the guest knows they're in this awkward thing, but you still are catching them off guard because you've got an offensive joke that you're, or offensive question that you're asking him. Now, I, I think her style is a little bit different, but I agree with you. Once the once the guest is in on the yeah on the the shtick, it might need another level up. And I think we're saying the same thing. Basically, she's got to be more prepared. To me, this ain't gonna last but for so long because I don't think she's good with conflict. Meaning like when somebody starts pushing back at her, I don't think she's witty enough, fast enough to be able to go with it. What you're saying about Zach is great. I, I haven't, I haven't watched watch her. Watch I've watched her clips, obviously. Like I watched this stuff with Drake and, but like. The full interview, she doesn't do well. Interesting. I believe that. But the interview is supposed to be uncomfortable and awkward. That is the design of the but, interview. But for the guest. Yeah, the guest. When it starts looking, when the, when the host starts looking uncomfortable and awkward, now the jig is up. I think that's also part of the gig is that she's uncomfortable. Eh. Why would you bring this person on your house, have them sitting on your couch or laying in your bed? To be do an uncomfortable, awkward interview. I think like this is the generation of, of people that, that grew up watching The Office. And The Office kind of epitomize like cringe humor yeah. where you have somebody who is behaving in a way that's really uncomfortable and awkward, but they don't realize they're being uncomfortable and awkward. I like and informed uncomfortable and awkward. Sure, sure. I, I'm just saying that like, I think that this generation saw that and they were like, this is the funniest thing. So that's what funny is. Our generation came up on In Living Color. It came up on Jim Carrey. Mm -hmm. It came up on, you know, uh, The Kings of Comedy where people were actively trying to be funny and then it was funny. Yeah, yeah, Whereas yeah. Whereas yeah. this generation is, they're pretending they're not trying to be funny, and because of that, it is. So I think there is a little disconnect generationally. Yeah. So I wonder if younger people watch this, and they're like, oh my God, this is the best fucking interview. Look how awkward it is. I'm sitting in this cringe fest. And we look at it, and we're like, ah, you gotta have some zingers. You gotta have some lines. You gotta have something. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. I, I just... Right. I'm not mad at it. I've just seen these type of characters enough to know it's 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 not sustainable. That's why all of these all of the, like all of those shows come and go. They but they're good. They have right. a lot of impact when they're on, but they don't last. Right. Jamel Hill said, "I don't find these types of interviews particularly enjoyable or interesting. Instead, it just sadly points out how real hip hop journalism has been practically erased. Some of the media teams behind these artists aren't interested in them sitting down with credible people who know how to tell stories and do quality interviews. Then they wonder why an artist's real story goes untold, neglected, or that artist is misunderstood. I disagree with that take because I feel like people go to Bobby." to just have fun, to show another side. That's not who I go to to sit down to have one of those real, in-depth, yeah. intriguing interviews. She's looking it through the wrong lens. Yeah, I can go to Rap Radar 100%. and sit with Elliot and B-Dot and then go to Bobby. I can go to Sway and then go sit with, 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 with Bobby. I can go I, sit with Angie Martinez and then go joke just, around with Bobby. Yeah, 100%. I, I think I just figured something out. Um, Right now, most people are digesting, like, first generation content on like TikTok, YouTube shorts, or IG reels. And an awkward, uncomfortable interview like this is gonna create the most cringe-worthy TikToks, IG reels, YouTube shorts that are gonna go the most viral. An in-depth, beautiful, curious interview is not gonna create a 30-second moment as likely where you're like, oh my God, this is gonna explode all over the internet. But these awkward interviews, are gonna curate the content that explodes all over the internet, which is cringe-worthy interactions. This is really popular. So the yeah, style- Yeah, cringe is in. Cringe is in, so the style- That's why my old, all my old clips won't die. <laughs> so the <laughs> style is, is successful in creating clippable content, yeah. and because of that, it will continue to proliferate the internet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, as long as artists Keep going up there. Like th th she's always going to make these kind of waves. You know well, what I'm I think, saying? I think he's really aware of the culture. You know what I mean? Like he just did the stream with uh, Kai. They Kai did like Sinai. a 24-hour yeah, stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. And like it felt from the things I was watching from the stream 
And that's another thing with streaming, 24 hour streaming, you can clip the funny little awkward moment that is unplanned. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That can be so easily taken out. And the cool thing about that is like, it felt like Offset was a fan of Kai and aware of the culture and he was in on it. He wasn't yeah. begrudgingly doing an interview. He was there like, yo, we're gonna create some moments and this is good. And the same thing is kind of happening with this. So he's aware of internet culture. I wonder if that stuff translates into record sales and stuff. So the tricky, the, I, I've been meaning to ask you about this. Maybe we discussed it already. If we discussed it already, my bad. But Burner Boy, right? Mm -hmm. Has an album that comes out. Okay? Mm -hmm. Prior to this album coming out, he's selling out stadiums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, we're talking about one of the biggest music acts mm -hmm. in the world. Stadiums, not stadiums where he's from, stadiums here. Mm -hmm. Album comes out, and I think it does maybe 55,000 or something like that. First in America, week. yeah. And, and it was America well, no, or Global? No, Doja Cat was 55,000. I forgot how much Burner Boy was. I would look, but you, but you would think for an act this big that the number would be bigger. And I think it was Russ who, was, who said, this is evidence that labels are buying streams. Duh. So, so, so talking about when- You're when, saying when, duh, so, I'm a casual, so, bro. I'm like, I, I can't believe people are so, doing this. So when I say things like- when I say things like, yo, you see a song and a song might hit number one, but it, you don't really feel it. Like, all I'm saying is nowadays- You can buy a number one is what you're saying. Now, I, back I, in the day- I, You can manipulate a number back one. Back in the day, you could also buy a number one and manipulate a number oh, one. Oh yeah, absolutely. And this is the number one thing that the record labels want. What they want is control of the outcome of their projects. Right, that's why they had the labels and the connections to you guys, and they were trying to do payola back in the day. For people who don't know, they were trying to pay off DJs to play records, and because they feel if you can get a record out there enough, it can reach escape velocity and then be good. Now with streaming, for a moment with SoundCloud and all those rappers, they had no control, and they're freaking out. Now it looks like if you can buy streams and you can make a number one go, Anybody can be quote unquote number one, but we don't know if it's actually real. And this Burner Boy thing is evidence that like this guy has stadium sold out. And if he's doing 55K, something's off, no? Duh. <laughs> that's, all, what? that's all I've been saying. Maybe I'm saying the most obvious thing. You're, Sorry, no, 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 like, no, no. You're not saying the most obvious thing. You're just saying what a lot of people don't necessarily say. But this is Russ. I saw the, did you yeah, guys see Russ, the Russ yeah, post? No, like, Russ is 100% And Russ right. is fucking on it. That motherfucker's been on it for the last 10 years about the music industry. But th there's another thing to that too. I do think that, um, and I, I say this to Cardi all the time. If I was Cardi, I would never drop another album. Two singles? I would single the game to death. Mm. Because I don't know if people <sighs> care about whole bodies of work. Like they used to. Uh, you know, now, that, I've said this. Now, if you're Kendrick Lamar, you could put out a whole body of work because Kendrick You've don't put out a lot of music. people to care about the body of work. That's right. But That's if right. you are somebody who just puts That's out right. singles, it's not a cohesive That's unit. Right. I agree with That's you. Right. And you can hold culture for longer. That's right. Drop a low key. You know who did this? 6 9 yeah. 6 9 was doing song, song, oh, song, yeah, yeah, yeah. song, song. I think and the people, songs yeah. were charting. And it wasn't until he dropped an album that I think it didn't do as well or whatever. But still, it's like you had culture when you were dropping songs. I think there's album artists. Some artists are just built for albums. And then I think there's single stars. You know what I mean? And I think, ah. I, I think that might even be the case with, uh, you know, Doja Cat. And, you know, Doja, Doja had a great rollout. She had a phenomenal rollout, an actual rollout, yeah. right? And... Paint the Town Red was number one. It's number two this week. And it's a, you could tell Paint the Town Red is a real number one record. You hear it. You hear it out and about. You hear it in the clubs. You hear it coming from cars. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you know people fuck with that record. The video got like 70 plus million views on YouTube. Like, you know people fuck with that record. She's number two this week, but her album only sold 55,000 copies. So you're like, what the fuck gives? So maybe that's the real number, like that 55,000 around that ballpark is yeah. probably real numbers. And then everything else everything is inflated. Everything else is probably inflated. Or, no, or, or maybe the 55,000 is the real number for the album. But the single, people just like singles. Like people might just want to hear a song. Like they might not want to hear the whole body of work. Oh, of course, of course. I'm just you saying know? like, like Al's going, what is a metric for success? Mm -hmm. And if a major artist gets 55K mm -hmm. and then- this and then Doja dropped and it got 55K, who's also a major artist. You go, hmm, maybe that's what success is. When we were growing up, it was a million, right? It went platinum. Mm -hmm. Now, and then it started to fluctuate. And I think we we came to an understanding like between 100 and 200 is really successful. 
Maybe it's more like 55 and then a lot of things have been bought or they're selling those like package the merch things. Is, the merch and the, all that. Yeah. But even with somebody like Doja, I know Doja can probably still sell out a, a, a venue. Easy. You know? And we know Burner Boy definitely still selling out arenas all over the country. That's the tricky thing because you know? the hardest thing to do is get people to come out to your show. Yep. It is not hard to get people to click a link and then watch or listen to your music. That's easy. Getting people to put clothes on, get a babysitter, get in the fucking Uber, yeah. like buy all those tickets. That's hard. And we got to stop. Like that, that's what I mean when I be saying and we know when people I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Charlotte. Care about a song. I'm sorry. You're telling me that Burner Boy put 80,000 people in a stadium and only 55,000 of those people that came that's out to see I'm him saying. bought his album. That's what I'm saying. Something's off. Something's off. Something's that's off, all I'm simply my saying. G. But you can feel it though. Like 30,000 of those people that went out to go see him were like, I don't need to look at the new album. I don't buy it. The, the How they're judging the streams is weird. I'm trying to Something tell you. Something is off. I'm trying to tell you. So why aren't people having this conversation? They are. Well, because, I don't no, care. because they're tied to the labels and they want the benefit of the label. They want the label to uh, pump their shit. They want the label to make them go number one. Why why would they expose themselves? J. Cole Ben said, he said, uh, what do you say? Oh, uh, J. Cole. Artists picking their stream. Yeah. They ain't as big as they seem. Like, he been, they, people been saying shit like this. This is. Yeah, but that's not, like, that is talking about it, but why aren't radio, why aren't more artists speaking up? Like, I, but I think to Andrew's point, it's like nobody wants uh, to. Radio, it's not their business. Yeah, yeah, and radio, to be honest with He's, you, man, you, you can have conversations with radio people. Only thing they can be responsible for is what they do. Like, Drake had 5.4 million impressions. Why? Because Drake and SZA work for radio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, they work for radio. When it comes to the screams, they don't got nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. You know? But they, it, they all go hand in hand. But if you can, you know, get 40, 50 million streams of a record and then another couple, three million impressions on radio... You are gonna chart mm. high? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You and probably listen, have a number one listen, record. Every single industry tries to create some form of control. When I say control, I don't mean like they want to control the people. They want to control their ability to generate revenue because it's security and safety yeah, yeah, for them. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. a very normal thing. For example, I'm sure there's rules that say you can't just open a bank, right? Who does that benefit? The banks that are already open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, yeah. rules that say you can't even be a, a barber in, in New York unless you get a license. Who does that help? The people yeah. already barbers, right? So you create some sort of moat. In music, they have these stars that are signed to these big deals that they have to recoup that money. How can, they're gonna grab us some water. How can we make sure, thank you so much, Tanya. You just gave it to me right now. How can we make sure, thank you, dear. I got it. Thank you. Um, how can we make sure that they can protect their investment? by having fail safes. Oh, we don't have a number one song really, or we don't have a number one album? Well, let's make it a number one because yeah. the fact that it is number one makes other people want to listen to it. I know when I go on Spotify and I find someone who I haven't heard of before, you know what I do? First thing I do, I go for their most played song. Yeah. I just go off the number. Yeah. If somebody's watching a stand-up clip from me, they probably go to my most viewed stand-up clip, my most viewed special. They, that number does influence people. And let, let the record show there are a lot of artists who have rapid, built-in fan bases that whatever they drop, people are going to go, go consume. You know what I'm saying? Drake is one of those. Nicki Minaj is one of those. Kendrick Lamar is one of those. J. Cole is J. one Cole of those. J. Cole is one of those. Beyonce. Beyonce is definitely one of those. You Taylor. know what I mean? Ta oh, come on. Taylor, 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 Taylor could drop Taylor, the music yeah, yeah, yeah. she already Taylor, yeah, yeah, yeah. dropped and they go, oh, yeah, yeah. Taylor, Taylor Swift definitely won. I mean, Nobody I, else yeah, could do 100%. that. 100%. She couldn't drop the music she already dropped. She had it. No, she had No, Taylor, we got to be honest with this one. Mark. No, she had it. Taylor. She Taylor no. and they did. They didn't do what Taylor did. Taylor put out a re, re, a new whole, a same album with the old songs, and that shit I was a hate million copies. To, I hate having to win these arguments. <laughs> <laughs> I hate win these arguments. Like, but but, I, but some I people just it. have those rapid built-in fan bases that's yeah. going to immediately stream whatever. And you know, once radio gets a hold of the record and plays that shit every hour on the hour, boom, they're gonna be through the roof. You know, but it is very hard to tell. What's what nowadays? And that's exactly how I would want it if I was in control. Dang. I would want the ability to manipulate things in the favor of my artists, which put more money in my coffers, right? I wouldn't want everything to be left up to chance. Yeah. It's the same reason why you probably sign music uh, producers, right? Like you have an exclusive deal with, uh, I don't know, uh, 
what is it called? Uh, what's it? Like I imagine if you have like a really good music producer, a Metro label, Bowman, Timbaland. Yeah, maybe a label goes, hey, we would like to sign your exclusivity so you just work for our, all our artists. Mm -hmm. Of course, because if you know that they're great at creating songs, you want to find a way to protect that brilliant creation. How can you just create for us that successful? Yeah, it's, it, I, 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 yeah. Maybe it's an, it's, it might be an overall streaming thing because like even look at the TV streamers. They are funny with the numbers. They don't give They'll them out. They'll never let you see the numbers. Them, yeah. That's why I'm so interested about this writer's bro, strike bro, and bro, what, bro. what terms did they come to? Real, also on the streaming thing. On Twitter, you can see Tucker Carlson's show. The numbers are astronomical. I'm not saying that he's not, those are fake numbers, but... They could count literally just viewing it in the scroll yeah. as a number, which is kind of like what TikTok is too. You see it for a second, you scroll, yeah. you still count it. But they have the ability to put it on everybody's scroll. Yeah. So they can essentially create whatever fucking numbers well, they, they well, want. They do have a music too. Like you could take a single or an album. Put it on every playlist. Put it at the top of every playlist. Like what the fuck? And There's some hip hop albums you see on gospel playlists. <laughs> and what if you own the playlist? So it's like, come on, bro. We know what the fuck's going on. What if you own the playlist? What? That's the thing. Or what if you don't own the place, but you're doing payola with the playlist? You telling me that they're not doing some payola to I don't what's the big play? Uh, you don't think of people, some people getting some form of a handshake? Oh, no, definitely. Yeah. So I mean, I, I don't know if it's specifically. Uh, let's say it's not. Maybe, 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 maybe Whoever's people like the, 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 the actual it. service, streaming service, they would they. Right? Yeah. But I don't fucking know. I, I don't want to accuse people of stuff like that. You know what I mean? But. There is some you would funny hope, business going on. You would on. hope that they wouldn't. Let's say we yeah, hope yeah, they would yeah, But yeah. it wouldn't be surprising if offers have been made. Yeah, absolutely. Our, our, our exchanges. Simple hey, as we'll that. Hey, we'll have our artists perform at... Simple as that. You know, this event or whatever. You know what I mean? So like, things like that yeah, happen, we're, man. We're talking about music right now, okay? Let's just yeah. put this into context. If a drug company wants your doctor to recommend a heart medication to you... Yeah. He takes your doctor on a vacation. Right. He sends your doctor yeah. to the Bahamas. He gives your doctor Super Bowl tickets. And then in exchange for that, it's kind of yeah. known that you're gonna start prescribing this heart medication. That's right. If if people are willing to do that for your life, you don't think they're gonna willing to do that for a song? That's right, that's right. And that's all listen, all you gotta do is just pay attention. Those same charts, just pay attention. What does that mean? Will it be there next week? Oh, are, 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 those, are those times when you see shit come out and it's like five songs in the top ten from one album or something like that? And then next week they're all just gone. You know what I'm saying? Oh wow! Like, you know what I mean? Just pay attention. That's all. That's all you got to do. Because a lot of times nowadays, like I said, you have some artists who have rapid fan bases and curiosity. You say rapid one more time. It's rabid. <laughs> What's rapid? The testing for COVID? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> rapid. <laughs> right? So you have people who have rat rabies fan bases. And when you have these rabies fan bases, like they'll run out, curiosity, makes them go check the music out, screams up. Yeah. And that counts. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then what happens the next week? Yeah, it's their longevity. So what happens to it. We have to, that's all, that's yeah. all I'm saying. That's all, that's, that's all I'll be saying, man. Wow. Uh. Yeah, rapid is like there's there's white water rapids or rapid is really fast. Rabid is this. You want to do Squarespace? <laughs> you yeah. thought it was a rabbit? I thought it was rapid, like how you were saying it. Me too. But you learn something every every day. Um, Squarespace. <laughs> Today's episode of Brilliant Idiots is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue screen for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, and newsletters. Create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo, built-in analytics, measure the impact of every send. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn 
where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords, our most popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Let's get back to the show. Let's do some asking idiots, Taylor. Let's do it. You know, Travis Kelsey kind of looks like... She's still on it. If he was black. I don't even know what Taylor said. Just <laughs> Nobody <laughs> loved Travis Kelsey so much. No, I'm saying... Just no, fucking... Man. Does anybody know what Taylor just said? She's, no. She's trying to if find Travis a replacement. If Travis Kelsey for Travis. Post us. black, he'll be Jill and Hurt. If Travis... <laughs> she said if Travis alike. Kelsey was black... She said if Travis Kelsey was black, he'd be jailing hers. Yeah, once again, I don't know what the fuck Taylor's talking about, man. <laughs> None of us do. Yeah. What asking idiots we got, Taylor? Let's see here. Um, If you could trade lives with someone for one week, who would you trade with? Schultzy? His wife, so he could date him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, God, that's so weird. Like, what, who would I trade one week? I wouldn't trade lives with nobody because I love being Not me. Taylor Swift? What, so I could get fucked by Travis Kelsey? <laughs> what if that's the week that that person dies? Did, yeah. Is, is it a rap and for then, you too? Oh, shit, if you die in that character, you are <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Dead. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Is it a rap for you too? And no. then what if you die as that person and you get to heaven, but your spirit is, what they, is, is what's been keeping the record of your life? So now you might have been this pure person. And then boom. But you got this spirit in you that's committed a lot of sins. Yeah. So God is judging you based off the spirit. God's like, Daddy, when did yeah. you do all of this? Uh, yeah. I've been watching you all the time. When did you do all of this? Yeah. You know? So yeah, that wouldn't, I, I wouldn't trade lives with nobody. I'm happy being me. That's the reason why, though. Yeah, that's a fantastic reason. Okay, what else? The question is for you, Taylor. Empty Chad Tech says, if you could try any animal meat, illegal or legal, what would you try? You should try... Um, for Taylor specifically. Okay, why? Why? I don't know the ad. It didn't say Taylor. Have you tried no. bear? Oh, that says empty chair tech. I'm sorry. That's empty chair tech. Oh, my bad. Have you have you tried <laughs> bear before? Or or venison? That's good. Or that sugon? Really good. Have you tried that? Why are you looking at me like that? I got my Andro free later. It's fine. What? It's not a joke. I'm waiting to hear what you say, crazy human. <laughs> that looks so wrong. good. <laughs> have you tried sugon? What? <laughs> Sugon! I knew it. I said it. Nah! Right when I said what? Ah! <laughs> Yo, Taylor, how you got I caught? I knew right when I said how what? How the hell you get caught like Taylor's that? Taylor was like, what Asian dish is that? Yo. <laughs> Sugon. <Yo. laughs> I've tried a lot of animal meats, so I don't even know what to tell you. Yeah? What? What's your favorite? Um, Bear shoulder. Have you really tried uh, bear shoulder? Yeah, I had. Did you fry uh, it? No, nah, it wasn't fried. I had bear shoulder in West Virginia. I had uh, squirrel dumplings. Uh, I've had deer meat. Um, what else have I tried? Frog legs. Oh, I've had frog legs. Frog legs are good. Frog legs are really good. You know what's surprisingly good? Rabbit teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. 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 I really be trying to be right there, I too. Know. You're, so right there. You're so excited. You're so excited. It's so exciting. Oh, 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 oh my god. 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 Who <laughs> yeah, there? Who's there? Oh my god. All right, what else we got, Taylor? What animal would you want to try? Um I would like to try. <sighs> what about some dinosaur meat? Oh, that'd probably be good as well. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like some dinosaur meat that would be fire. Be good. Yeah. Some brontosaurus. You know what I mean? Some T Rex or something like that. T Rex would be good as well. That little T Rex chicken dolphin wing. Would be good. Dolphin. dolphin? Mm -hmm. They do. Don't they have that? Isn't that in the tuna sometimes? I don't eat tuna. Oh, you don't? Really? Why not? Just doesn't smell good. 
God we hear damn. that. We hear that. Hey, we hear I that. What kind of lesbian hey, are you? Hey, hey, we hear that. So what kind of lesbian? Hey, we hear that. What kind of lesbian with your chest? What kind of lesbian are you? Right here. I thought you was a real yeah. lesbian all of this time. Taylor Jamaican. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> had to smell stuff, you Taylor. You ain't a real lesbian, yeah. yo. Yeah, you you ain't that. real, yo. Power you a little vacation. Breathe out your mouth. You a vacation lesbian, yeah. yo. Yeah. Uh, Dex Wallace says, Charlemagne, what are your thoughts on the theory of industry plants and music? Mm -hmm. Doesn't exist. Shut up. Yo, now you don't need to plant them. Yeah. Now that you can, you know, fuck the fuck with the streams. But even but that's it, what it, but there, there's never uh, there's no such thing as a industry plant. Oh, I hear what you're what saying. What would an industry plant be doing? Like, what's the point of an industry plant? Someone we look at that doesn't have that much talent, and then all of a sudden they just pop really quickly. And usually those People but tend so to man, not stay we, around. We, we say these things about who we think doesn't have talent, and we forget one thing and one thing only, and that's talent is subjective. So what you don't like doesn't mean millions of other people don't. That's just the reality of the situation, mm -hmm. you know? So it's just like you, anybody you name, there's an audience for. Period. There's not one person you can name who there's not an audience for. I thought industry plant also is whoever they're connected to. That's where they're saying ice fight. If that's the case, we're all industry plants. Yeah. Everybody who's not an industry plan, everybody's connected to somebody in some way, shape, or form. Okay, this isn't music, but say the girl we were talking about earlier, Bobby Altoff. Yeah. Like they say she's an industry plant because she just started podcasting and her first or second. No, y'all just Drake. started paying attention to yeah, her. I no, no, no. She's she just been on TikTok she, popping. No, she's been on TikTok popping, but she just started a podcast. Which most people are doing. Listen, man, you most be surprised. people don't get Drake on their second episode. No, well, but she she had some very successful episodes and my assumption is that Drake was like, oh shit, this girl's going crazy on the internet. If we did an episode, it would go crazy. And this is just going to help continue to fuel yeah, the are, release. And who's Drake's best friend? Who, who's who's one of Drake's best friends? Yachty. Yachty. But Yachty did it after. Yeah. Yeah, he did. No, nah, Yachty did it before. No, 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 no. After. He, did after. he called and during Yachty's interview, he, Drake called and was like, yeah, I just did hers. Yeah. Yeah. Yachty came out first. No. No. No, no. show about this show. 100%. No, no, no. But um, I remember seeing Yachty before that. But they're signed to the same agency. Who? Who is? Uh, Drake and Bobby Atto. Yeah, but everybody, these agencies have thousands of. But I mean, you don't think that makes it easier to possibly get somebody like, hey, we're trying to make this I'm girl I'm signed pop. to the same agency as LeBron. Yeah. We haven't had LeBron on the pot. You know what I mean? Like, mm. there can be a message sent to an agent, but it doesn't mean it's going to go. There has to be, There's this girl was undeniably blowing up the internet. You got to give her credit for that. And then other people see that they're blowing up the internet and then they go, well, I got a project coming out. I need to blow up the internet. Uh, this work. That's that's my assumption. No, nah, Yachty did it first, yo. No. Oh. Yeah, Yachty did it in July. Drake did it in August. No. Unless I do I'm looking at it right now. Unless Drake's Drake got taken down. Drake's got taken down in August. They took it down a week after it went out. No. But Gar I'm saying, guaranteed. Guaranteed. But I don't think you're right just put one. Drake's out, but Yachty definitely. No, 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 no. Drake's was out first. Drake's was out first. 100%. I don't think so. I mean, so. Yeah, 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 the other way around. I don't fucking know. All right, next one. What else we got? Um. Okay, how do I get rid of my sneaky link of six years? <laughs> he does Shit. not want to leave me alone. Well, you shouldn't have let him hit, let him hit raw. Yeah, if, if you letting him hit raw, you sucking his dick, you eating his ass. You was eating his ass, eating his ass, uh, and doing that shit for six fucking years, yep. and not saying nothing. Yep. Now you want him just to leave you alone? Why you want him to leave you alone all of a sudden? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You got to give him a reason why you taking that taking that good good back. That's true. That's not like you're married to something. Yeah, that's not a sneaky link. That's just well, a she might have been cheating. She, that's the point she's not saying. Ah, uh, she might have been cheating. Now she want to be a faithful black queen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now she want to be faithful, and she don't want her 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 sneaky link anymore. Yeah, that's fucked up, bro. Yeah, you fucked up. You fucked up. And also, how do you get rid of just don't call him anymore? Tell him not to come over. Like, it's very easy. That's a whole other relationship, by the way. Yeah, What's that's a relationship. If you've, been fucking for, if you've been fucking somebody else for six years, I know you unprotected. Like I said, I know you sucking dick. I know you eating ass. If you've been doing that shit for six years, that's a relationship. Woo, I want to tell your husband on you. Yo, low key. Whoever you sneaky leaking around on, I want to tell that person on you. I mean, she put her Instagram on here. Jack Queens <laughs> underscore A K U A. 
Jack Queen, J A C Q U E E N S underscore A K U A. Whoever <laughs> your king is needs to be informed of your behavior. Now, maybe you've told him. That's why you have no problem letting us know what's going on. So I will say to your sneaky link, hey, Jack Queens underscore A K U A is asking the brilliant idiots for help. That's how you know she's desperate. Mm. Okay? Does sneaky link only require if you have a. Relationship though, because what if not she's really. like messing around with her boss and she don't want no one else to know or something? Yeah, that could be a sneaky link. So, yeah. how we know it's not that? Did we put a button on the industry plant conversation? Put one on, because it is interesting though. But I think I, I do think what uh, Bobby had a following on TikTok. Yes, this I know. Yes, and I think that some people just pay attention to more of that than others. And like, yo, you may not, we may not have heard of Bobby, but if Bobby's over on TikTok getting millions of views, exactly, that don't mean. Drake or whoever didn't know who she was. I think we're so, quick. Yeah, so go. he decided, I'm going to go sit down with this person. That's just a personal decision, exactly. a personal yeah. choice. Like, yeah. And she took off. Like Those are the things you hope for as a media personality. Or you hope that you're making enough noise 100%. that somebody decides, you know what? I want to come sit down with said individual. Like All you need is one to take you to that next level. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. You know, you, I can look at somebody like even Looney with the It's Up There podcast. Like, yeah. Little Baby decided to go to Looney's show because he was a personal fan yeah. of Looney's show because he was listening to Looney's show because he liked what Looney was talking about. So yeah. he decided, hey, I want to go sit with that person when my album comes out. Yo, that's the era that we're in. A label can't make you do anything. Your manager can't make you do anything. Your agent can't make you do anything. You go do the shows that you feel comfortable doing because the reality is it don't matter where a little baby goes to sit. Mm. You're going to go check for that interview. It don't matter where Drake goes to sit. You're going to go check for that interview, you know? So once something like that happens, you out of here. You out of here. <sighs> yeah, that's tricky. Let's, but Yeah, but I don't, think that, I don't think there's any such thing as an industry plan because I don't even know what the fucking point would be. Um, let's do two more. Oh, this is a good one. DJ Mike Torch says, how do you guys stay sane when you are being attacked by the media? It's easy. Okay, how? Don't open your phone. Um, number yeah, number one, don't open your phone. But number two, you have to understand attacks are gonna happen. That's the era where the game. It, let me let me ask y'all a question. I want to ask you this question, DJ Mike Torch and everybody listening. When you ever see somebody getting loved on by the media, bro, that's nope. so rare. Ain't no clicks in that, bro. Like I don't care who you are. You just have to understand that the love. 95% of the time outweighs whatever hate that you're getting. Also, keep in mind, from those articles that you brought up from reputable sources, they're not even really looking into what you're saying. It's just how can we dunk on somebody? That's right. Dunking is what gets clicked. We were talking about this on a pod yesterday. I actually have a theory that the media media has a certain amount, the people that work there, the journalists, might have a certain amount of impressions they have to hit in the same way that a cop has a certain Hell amount yes. of tickets they have to give out. Absolutely. Abso so I, I would love to see somebody do a study where they track the most salacious hit pieces to the end of the quarter when they need to hit their impressions. And I bet you, this is what I'm assuming. I bet you, towards the end of the quarter, when you need to see the impressions, all of a sudden, here comes the Elon Musk hit piece. All of a sudden, here comes the Charlemagne hit piece, the Rogan hit piece. All of a sudden, here comes the uh, Dave Portnoy hit piece. The people that they know that they can get clicks out of, that are guaranteed clicks. Kanye West. They, the Kanye West, they, well, Kanye doing it to himself, but sure. But it's like, they're like, oh, I need to get my impressions. Here I can go to the well. That's why the best thing to do sometimes if you're a person that's being attacked, don't acknowledge it because of what exactly what show said. Yeah. Because all right, you put that out there, you're gonna get your shit, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put no fuel on this fire. The, the only You're not gonna get no clicks from me being able to say Charlemagne responds yeah. and such and such. I respond to shit that benefits me. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And sometimes it might benefit you to clear the air, right? If, Never. See, I disagree. Yeah. I think like Never. I think that like with Portnoy, right? He will go back 100% on anybody who says anything about him, right? But the angle that he's going with is I have to rectify the image of me that they have now tainted. Whereas he can't change it though, but he can change it. Never shows. No, it's I'm, never no worked. I disagree. Charlotte, like, I usually agree with you, but that the way he handled this last situation, like, 
it changed my outlook on that because like he made he the media them. look like, oh, this is some corrupt. Dave Porno, he owns bar. So he got wind that they were doing a hit piece on him, right? Calls the girl who was writing the hit piece, records it live and just shows her flubbing over her words. Oh no, we didn't mean to send that out. Oh no, no, no. And he's like, were you gonna give me a fair shake? Like, were you gonna, oh yeah, we were gonna do that. And I'm like, why Why did you say all these horrible things to me to our sponsors? Oh, uh, that's just a journalistic tactic because we wanted to elicit a type of response, like exposes their whole game. Sure, and I'm, I'm not saying that's wrong, but there's plenty of people out there who feel like Dave Portnoy is racist. That's, yes. not, gonna, that's not gonna change. But it changed. When people have their mind made up about you, that, now to your point, you can, you can, Stop a media outlet from putting some shit out about mm. you. You can do that, right? But I don't. Once people have a perception of you, yeah, they're not changing. Yeah, that. and I think what he's doing now is like he's not letting that perception happen. Go any further? Exactly. It's going to happen regardless. So the people that are going to hate you are going to hate you 100. Yeah. percent But at least the people that know you can consume your side of the story. And now we have the power to put that out if we care. But the, I agree with you. But the people that fuck with you going. They already know your side. I agree with you. You don't respond to every, anything, everything, and you should respond to the things that you do. And I agree with you. That is the correct strategy. But there are always moments where you're you. There are always going to be moments where you're like, okay, I need to clear this up. And the beautiful thing about having podcasts is we can do that now. Back yeah, in the that day, that shit is like herpes, bro. I'm like, what do you <laughs> mean? Ain't no clearing it up. No, <laughs> no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying, like, let's say for example, right? I've learned the the, the worst place for your reputation to live is in somebody's imagination. And we yes. live in this era where nobody, we always say that, feelings over facts, but truth be told, nobody gives a fuck about truth. How I feel about Andrew all that matters. is how I feel. No, 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 I don't care what y'all say. Yep. He's this. Oh, no, 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 I don't care what you say about Charlamagne. He's this. Yep. Like, once people have their mind made up, their mind is made up, and there's nothing you can do to change it. I actually laugh at people who are master manipulators who put certain narratives out there about people and then people on the internet run with it. I literally, I'm not even joking. I sit back at home and I laugh my ass off. And, and to answer Mike Torch's question again, the reason it don't bother me, because I know the truth about me. That's the other thing. The more that you know the truth about you, I, I think the, the specific question, well, is it? How is do you how guys do you, stay sane? Well, I think the first thing is, if you're being accused of anything or people are painting you in a certain light, do they have any validity? If they don't, then you're good. And if they're portraying you in a certain way, make sure you know why you said that thing and you can defend why you said that. Once you know why you said it and you can defend it to yourself. That's right. For me, I realized it's easy because the second I ever get asked it, slam dunk, Andrew, free throw line. Nobody, nobody knows you like you. That's it. Yeah. Nobody but, knows me like me. So not to rehash this, and I know it wasn't the media, but let's say with the Remy Ma situation. Um, the guy puts out some or alludes to her cheating. If she doesn't say anything, now everybody's just running wild with this uh, thing. Alex, and people are people are already running wild with it, but I think it helps the fact that at least she's come out and said this is a lie. Because if she was quiet and, about two, it, two things about that. Number one, even if she says it's a lie, it's gonna be a whole bunch of people that say no, she's lying. But bro, number two, that's who, th number I two, did see that too. Who is that for? The only person she owes any explanation to is her husband. But you think if she don't say nothing? Who is that for, though, Alex? I, yeah, but her husband might also care what people think. It's very normal for people to care what other people think. That we are communal creatures, and it's it, our reputation within the group is always going to be valuable to us. So, but what if he doesn't, though? And if he doesn't, that's beautiful, and that they have a very strong love, and that's awesome. The thing that the thing that what you were saying is. Um, Sometimes, or to back up Charlamagne's point, is like even when she came out and said, "Nah, that's just battle rap. They're just doing whatever." There was true. there, which is true. There were even people who went, "Nah, she's lying right now." So it just proves what they felt is yes. that she did something bad, even with facts. They were still disregarding the facts. And also, too, man, if I'm, uh, but I hear what you're saying. It's like it's it's, for, but for the people that felt that feel that she is still loyal, she didn't cheat. That was enough for them to be like. Okay, she's yeah. good. And now if she didn't say anything, those people are like, Alex, damn, she's not even going to say I'm going to ask y'all this once again, though. Yeah. Who is that explanation for? That's the other thing. We don't owe nobody, none of these motherfuckers an explanation it's if about your, If your husband or significant other feels embarrassed yeah. and they want that to be clarified. Let me ask you a question. God forbid... God forbid. Don't even say it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Don't even no, say oh, it. Look but, at, look at uh, Dylan, Dylan, Dylan Dennis and Logan Paul. 
went and all this stuff Dylan Dennis is putting out about Logan Paul's fiance. Like he needs to come out and say something because I'm sure that's affecting their house back at home. He's selling a fight. Logan yeah. Paul going there and knock his fucking ass out. Yeah, but, cl- talks over but clearly it's bothering her because she need, she needed to sue and do an order and, protection. And Logan's saying that I'm going to fuck him up. when uh, You sue him, handle that that way, and then when I get in the ring, I'm going to beat the sh- dog shit but out he, of him. He Charlie, also, you said it earlier in Breakfast Club what? with Kiki Palmer. You said that she's saying mind your business if her and her um, boyfriend or whatever. That's not together. a rumor. That was She was asked a direct question about her and her boyfriend. Uh. And Kiki said... Mind your business. You say, are they together? But but I'm gonna tell you why that's 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 null and void. You was in the video with Usher. Forget if it was just if it was just the dancing on the on the uh, at the show. Cool. Yeah, telling people mind their business. But you did a whole video with Usher. Did your man feel a way about that? Hmm. That's a valid. Qu- I think that's a very yeah. very valid question. But I, to, to say this, I would I would come back around about this. If if your woman cheated on you, would you care more about? Whether she, or no, if there was a rumor that your woman cheated on you, would you care more about, did she actually cheat on you or what everybody thought about, thought about it? Of course, if it actually happened. Exactly. Yeah. Once I know the truth, yeah. I don't give a fuck what y'all motherfuckers that's, think. That's, you're at a place where you can do that. There's a lot of place, people that are going to be very sensitive to public perception. Yeah. And I understand. That's insecurity for no reason. Because if it don't affect your bank account. People are insecure for no reason too. You know this. I, I'm with you, but if it don't affect your bank account, if it's not affecting your career, if it's not affecting your business, who cares what these nosy ass motherfuckers? I definitely, are? I definitely yeah. gonna ask her though. Yeah. <laughs> that's your wife. Be like, yo, yeah. yo, yo what's the rumor? You're supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. That's your wife. Oh, okay, okay. I don't care what it, I don't care what the fucking Twitter. I need you to go on Twitter right now. And tell everybody you ain't cheat on me. Mm. You fucking idiot. But that's the same <laughs> thing that happened like, with. As soon as you do that, you be like, oh yeah, they did it. But they is, did it. Why would they? Why? Yeah. Why would they be getting online to tell everybody they didn't if they did? Um, as yeah. always, if you listen to this podcast, <laughs> this you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant. You're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast, and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit. You're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.